Great to see everybody. I know it's late. I got in late tonight, but I figured better late than never once again. I apologize. I'm a couple minutes late. You know, Bat. I was trying to give Bat the benefit of the doubt, but I was like, I'm not playing games tonight. Welcome, everybody. Orange, Rachel K, Detective Chantal S, Spooky Muse, G, Gail, Detective Cochise, Raccoon Man, Nyquil, Spooky Muse, Nancy M, Michael Furberger, K Marie, welcome guys, welcome Pookie, Mick the Cornball, great to see everybody, Robert C, yes, we are in a row, Dan, good morning, good morning, good evening, depending where you guys are at. So I got in late, and then when I got in, I seen Gary was going searching. Welcome. So I figured there's our little Sam Saro. There's Tracy. So I figured I would let Gary do his thing. I kind of had some laundry to throw in, pick up after Batris. So I was like, all right. Layla, welcome. Pet Smart, no more Nashies. Jazzy Mama, Amber Nicole, welcome. Not a gamer. Great to see everybody. Sherry V. <laughs> Lindsay H. Vulgar, welcome. Well, I got one down, and then P is ready to tear stuff up. Okay, let's get a drink of coffee. I'm just drinking. I got some water over here, and hence our snack of the day is White Castle. EP, welcome. And welcome. Runs in circles. Great to see everybody. Thumbs up. Make sure you're still subscribed. Beaker, welcome. And thumbs up if notifications didn't go out. Shallow Villa. Shallow Villa Hotel, a.k.a. Justice, Jamie, Anna Lynn. Welcome, everybody. Irene, great to see everybody. Okay, so drink of the day. We're just drinking some of the coffee and some of the creamer that I got to open, but don't you worry. I got another backup creamer once we finish this, but I didn't want to open too much stuff. This sure is weird. So, let's get to it. As you can tell by the title, Shallow How is at it once again. Polybug, welcome. I have never in my life... Oh, I think I put Ville, but Villa is great. I should have put that. Thank you, Jamie. Carlos, welcome, guys. I am using Heatherland Raccoon Man, Jerry Stiller's girl, Debbie. Okay, what do we got on? We got a NARS bronzer, NARS blush. The Big Orgasm Palette, Dainty Welcome, and then we got that Ethereal Bloom. I said, I forget his name, but it's the Ethereal Bloom Palette. We have did a review of it. Um, I can't think of his name. Anyways, it's the Ethereal Bloom Palette. It kind of fades in like a mint ombre-ass type deal. It's got some, it's got a neutral... It's got some mints, it's got some purples, pinks. Andy, welcome. Dainty, welcome. Yes, I have never seen anybody in my life. No, it's not the Hendash one. It's, um, is it make, not, not Manny, not Scarlet Barnes. If I, when I go grab snack today, I'll grab it. Star welcome. Um, I really liked, oh, Artist Couture. Artist Couture. There we go. I really liked his powder. Artist Couture. It's the Ethereal Bloom. <laughs> Ethereal Bloom. Jeffrey, welcome. So, Batris was trying to be a librarian again. I really was going to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I thought, eh, better not. She came carrying a book. I was like, Batris literally took a nap when I first got home, and I was like, oh. So, all right. Yes, Kai Bear, we are on time. So, let me get a swiggle of coffee. Harley, welcome. Welcome, Kai Bear. We got some things to unravel. Ah, coffee is beautifully. SJM, welcome. SJM, you are on the list to talk about. Finn and Curvy, welcome. Let's start with SJM, why SJM is here. I do not understand why when somebody leaves Chantal's camp that they are just open. Nice, Fit and Curvy. Bowie, welcome. Um... I do not understand that, yes, SJM, we're going to get into that. That's on the list today. No more now. She's welcome. Um, yes, yeah, Stephanie. Batchers came carrying a book. She already had ripped the cover off it a while ago. I'm like, where did you even get this? I had it put up. So Batchers can get on the couch. I seen Batchers on the desk the other day, like I told you guys. So Bat is literally a flying bat. So Batchers is out of the, you know, I can't get up on stuff stage.
She scratched Grandma's leg today. I was like, Bat, you're killing me, man. So, I don't understand why. Let's go back to SJM. Welcome, Bunny Melon. Nancy, why when people leave Chantal's camp, can it just not be erased and leave them alone? One day, and this is all I want to make sure... Um, Shani, for Christ, uh, has been in our community tab, and I've literally erased a community tab before. Yeah, I was like, how did she come back? And literally, you guys, she was like the third, fourth, fourth person that um, commented, and I was like, let me erase this. I don't want to promote her channel, which that was not my intentions. Yes, Bat is in a crate. I do take Bat with me and the other dogs. Like I did run to CVS. Guys, I got a great deal today. I had a 10 off of 50, my $10 care pass, a dollar 14, and I just rolled like so I spent $39. $39. I got six things of the basic laundry soap that I always brag about. It's called Just Basics. It's CVS brand. Two 35 packs of their pods, a thing of puppy pads, and Battress loves this toy. Now, what I like about this, you guys, I really like the Bark Box toys a lot. I like that Serious, Serious, Baroness, welcome. I like that CVS has the Bark Box toys. Now, they are a bit pricey, but when I use my coupons, that is when I get them for them. So I'm going to show you this toy right quick and we'll get started. Um, I do not understand why somebody leaves her camp and she can't just leave it alone. So, this is the Best of Bark Box, and it's called Andy's Famous Dumplings. Tired, welcome. Sorry to point the scissors at y'all. Watch, I'll get axed, and we got old, uh... Polybug, just learn the basics. Just Ray, welcome. Learn the basics. Digitals are easy to work with, with CVS. Now, when you are at the register, do make they come off. Y'all, oh, here we go. Make sure they come off. CVS is bad for that. What I do is I write a list before I go. I should have saved my list and showed you guys. Um, I love the Just Basic Soap. Usually I get a two off eight and a two off six. They combine together. Both are the basics. There was a gallon and they were in sale for $3.99 today. So the Just Basics pods, I think the pods are called Total Home. That's their other brand. And then the gallons were on sale $3.99. So I had two off six. And a two off eight. So I basically got one or two of them free. So this is what I do. I get the dogs a toy sometimes if I have, you know, the, you know, coupons to do it. Beach flower, welcome. So this is called Andy's Famous Dumplings. Now I did have Bark Box for a while. I did have to cancel it. I do prefer Box Dog better than Box Bark Box. Um, I do like Box Dog. Check out my reviews. You can pick your own items. Whereas Bark Box, you can't. But Bark Box, what I like, I do like their toys. So what I do is, guys, always make sure you get all your little things off. And we'll get right into it. I just wanted to show you. Han, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Always take these off. Anything that they can chew on or anything that helps it rip quicker. And you can always wash your dog toys. So Simon and Bar Batris have been fighting over these dumplings. So I thought I'll pick another one up. So what I like about, I'll have to show you guys, Juice, welcome. Um, yeah, I seen TJ Maxx the other day. I had some Bark Box toys. So Simon and Batris love these little dumplings. And Simon loves the crinkly effect toys. So, I just throw these little dumplings in the wash. They'll carry them around. And, you know, I don't... I use, like, a free and clear laundry soap. I don't put dryer sheets. Or if it's sunny outside, I'll let them dry outside. But I seen this today. So, a lot of the bowls. Anna, Lynn, welcome. Jenny No Pants. Yes, they have a, they have a flip-flop toy. Matter of fact, from that I got... Guys, always look for Christmas toys... 4th of July. Last year at 4th of July, I got some for 98 cents. They're flip-flops. I've always put them in giveaways. 
Okay, so basically check this out. Let me go ahead and let Simon play why bats in her crate. So these little dumplings are cute. Casey, welcome. And they're just got little squeakers. And like I said, I pop them in the wash. Always look for stray if there's any. Now, you can call BarkBox if you get any defective toys. Again, not sponsored. I put stuff like this in the washer, but is that not hilarious? So you put the little dumplings in here. Hold on, y'all. Here we go. So you put the little dumplings in here, and then it's got Velcro, and it kind of makes it like a interactive toy for them. Or you can just give them, they do look like garlic breads, little garlic knots. And it's got the crinkly, it really look, they're ready for it. So, what I like, this is kind of like a four-in-one toy. Um, nice, Kelly. Yes, Sugar Bear, Sugar Bear likes more like fake bones, frisbee. Um, she likes more stuff to carry around where the other, the Frenchies, like more interactive stuff. So, yeah, so you got this toy and then you got the other. So, I didn't have enough money to get everybody one. So, I kept going and forth with this cactus. They have a cactus and then once they tear the fabric up, they have a um, another toy that's like that, a pineapple and a Statue of Liberty. And once you tear the fabric off, there's a ball underneath. So, that's what I like. So, like I said, I couldn't afford to get everybody a toy today. So, this is what's up. They can all kind of share this. It's like a four-in-one. Petty Plum Tear, welcome. SCL, welcome. Okay, so that is the Andy's Dumplings non-sponsored. They have a money-back guarantee if something is Tara, welcome. So always look them back, and that's what I like about BarkBox. They have, you know, say something's ripped or it's defective. They find, you know, something in it. So Andy's Dumplings, famous dumplings, and I got this at CVS, and I think that's absolutely adorable. Do you have that cactus that inmates, whatever you say? You guys talking about the cactus toy? No, I was going to get the cactus toy. Um, everybody's got their bark box has. And then the go dog, like Kelly got us, they have a toy warranty too. So you go online, go dog, and then bark box, you know, within stature. If your dog is, you know, a giant mastiff, you know, but... They're supposed to last 30 days. So, you know, you can't call every all the time. But once in a blue moon, you know, your money's your money. So, there's that. So, always look on back. And, yeah. So, let me give them this. And we'll go ahead and get started. And I just kind of want to show you that. And, uh, you know, it's funny. We all talk about the CVS receipts. I wish a while ago um, they had a CVS receipt. At our girl, welcome. They had a CVS receipt bark box toy. It was limited edition for CVS, but um, I didn't get to get that one. So let me go ahead and give them this. Again, I really like these toys. They're great quality. You can pop that in the wash. Now, be careful with the plastic. I don't know if you'd want to dry that, but again, lay it out. You know, here you go, Petey. Merry Christmas. There you go, Mr. Wegg. There's your dumpy. There you go, fellers. Okay, so let's move right along here. And I wanted to show you guys that. So if you've got a 10 off 50, a 6 off 30, or you know how CVS coupons roll, you can kind of get your dogs like a free toy. There you go, Petey. Get you one. There you go. They're like, yes, a toy to themselves. Okay, there you go, Sign. There you go, Shuggy. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Everybody's good. Everybody's kosher. Okay, y'all. So, they are good to go. Look, Mr. Wiggly. PD, get PD stuff. Simon's like, yes, I get to tear the dumplings up first. Believe it or not, they have another one that's a pea pod, and Simon loves the pea pods. So, that's a big hit. Hold on, y'all. My little cave is falling down here. Okay. So, yeah. So, the Frenchies like kind of like the smaller, you know, where Sugar Bear likes the more bones frisbee. Vegas, welcome. 
Okay, y'all, I do apologize. Let's get back into it. Use your coupons, make your list. You, they have no problem at CVS fixing it. Yes, happy Festivus to the dogs. So don't be afraid, don't be shy, make your list if things don't go off. Um, I do not use the Fetch app, I probably should. Um, tater Cakes, our She Shed is chilling. Iron, welcome. Amber, our welcome, everybody coming in. Um, sh welcome. Um, basically, I'm going to try and hustle up those little Jackery, that generator for us. I mean, we still can use the cords and stuff. Elizabeth, welcome, but i just kind of waiting for the heat to just kind of take a pause, and we'll get out there and do our thing. Everything's good. Our stuff is coming in slowly but surely. The only thing I've got to get us is something comfortable to set on. Whether I take one of these chairs out there till we get something else... I want to get a memory foam or a twin mattress or something a little smaller than a twin. Sarah, welcome. Kay Marie, welcome. So, um, I want to get us something that's kind of, to be honest, why I Tiger Paul Bambino, welcome. Fatima, welcome, Mama to Kitties. I was just talking about the eyeshadow palette. It is the Ethereal Bloom from Artist Couture. Artist Couture. Lunaris, welcome. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's go back to S Jam. And like I said, so now it seems to be that S Jam, they can talk this, talk that. Yes, guys, I'm really, I looked up the, um, for the Jack, yeah, a baby mattress is what I looked to on Kool's and JC Penny sites as well. I thought about getting a, I thought about getting like maybe a queen and cutting it in half. That way the top and bunk. I got a queen size down at the camper. And if I sell the camper, I thought about taking a Solzol and cutting the mattress in half. I don't know. I'm like, do I sell? Because it's brand new. I'm like, do I sell it? And then, but it's, it's a foam mattress. I don't know. We're rolling on a budget. It's, it's a foam mattress. Yeah, so that's what I thought about 2G. I was looking at JCPenney and Kohl's. And, um, ooh, Polybug, that's a great idea. JCPenney and Kohl's had some really, um, you think it would ruin it? I don't know. I'll show you guys and we'll take, we'll, I mean, if I just soul sold it down the middle, we'll see. It, I'll probably sell it and then come up with, I, I don't know. We'll do something. I, I, I got that mattress down there, and it's brand new. So maybe we'll sell it. No, it's not a regular mattress. It's a foam one. I'll, I'll show you guys, but maybe I'll sell that, and then we'll get... Um, thank you, Iron. Okay, so let's move on. Chantal was a shallow, mean person today. I do not understand. Mandy, welcome. Welcome, everybody coming in. Thumbs up. It helps us tremendously. How, how can you, how can you talk about being positive and being mean and then you're being mean and shallow? Lunaris, well, or Lunar Clock, welcome. You made a fool out of S Jam. I would just close that door if I was you and I would probably walk away from it. Now, I'm not going to speak for S Jam, but I'm going to speak for me. And this is my opinion and my chats. You keep running people through the mud and somebody, you know, you, you keep making their life hell online and some people is not going to take that well. Angela, welcome. So, as I had seen before, Chilean Gypsy sent me pictures as I had seen before. Y'all, that was not Chilean Gypsy and the Uber with Natter yesterday. I've seen Chilean before. Um, that, that wasn't. Yeah, I'm just kind of balling on a budget right now, guys. So, I was going to see if maybe, like I said, we could sell that in half. If not, I can try to sell it. I literally, literally slept on this foam mattress once when I went to pick up the camper. BBW King, welcome. Um, 
Shanto, you start to ruin everybody's online presence. And S-Jam, I'm going to be, this is probably going to piss her off, but I really don't care. Nurse him. I am very proud. I'm going to be honest with you, S-Jam. I really, I can't use it. I mean, unless we can cut it in half. Um, yeah, unless we can cut it in half, it, it's, it's queen size, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, as long as I could maybe measure it with some chalk and then sawzall it straight down. I'm not talking like a hand saw. I'm talking like a zzz, and that's if it would be plausible. I'm not just going to tear up a brand new, you know, mattress because. So, I'm very proud of SJM going back. I'm going to be very real with you. I'm going to be very real with you. I thought S-Jam would go back. I'm going to be 100% serious. I really thought that S-Jam would go back. So, S-Jam, I'm very proud of you for standing your ground. I really tremendously am. Um, I do not think that it's right when somebody leaves the community for Chantal, you to just talk about them, you to let your people just continuously talk about them. I think that is foul. I think that you run your channel, you talk about, you know, let me, let me tell you a little something. There's no fill, I'll have to show y'all, it's like a foam mattress. And, and, and like I said, I'm not going to tear it up unless I know we can do it. It's like one of those giant memory foams, so unless we could go straight down the middle with a hand saw, saw an electric saw, but we'll, we'll, we'll check it out first. I'm not going to go tearing shit up, believe me, I've... You know, that mattress has been slept on once, literally. So, um, you're good, S-Jam. And hold your ground and listen, guys. Everybody has bad mental days. Do not. Dan, thank you, love. Do not let Chantal deter you. Do not let what people say on the internet bother you. S-Jam, Chantal is literally sitting in a hotel by herself Counting down literally, literally, when her food is going to come. She, I'm going to tell you this too, Foodie Beauty, and this is coming for me, and I don't know about my people, but I'll stand for me on this one. Nobody, at least over here, Amchick, welcome. I do not care any of us on here, all 244 people. Can go rent a hotel room. Can I get Yaba's soundboard? Who do you think you are? Or who do you think you aren't? I keep seeing her chat say, Oh, they're just miserable people. It's, it's, they're, they're so miserable deep down inside themselves. And they're just jealous. Look. Listen, Linda. Anybody can rent a hotel room. That is not your hotel room. That is not your coffee maker. That is not your balcony. That is not your dirty pillowcase. That is not your half-used body wash. Mrs. Havers, welcome. Anybody can rent that room. Or a better room. You literally, exactly Vegas. Dude, I have been to the cream of the crop. I have stayed at the Cosmopolitan. My buddy had a suite. I have been to the Aria. I have had suites at the freaking Hard Rock. You want to talk about ball out rooms? Have y'all, my buddy had a room and it was like a two story room. This little son of a gun, Patricia, welcome. I'm sure Vegas and most of you guys have probably seen. Those rooms look like little apartments. So you want to talk about ball out. Yeah, K. Marie. Let's talk about Caesars. Let's talk about the Bellagio. Yes, Chantal, it is a cute room. I'll give you that. But would I rather have my own stuff? You, you can make fun of my little she shed and my camper all you want. But they're mine. That's mine. These are my clean blankets. These are my shitty little candles. They're mine. They're ours for the channel. She said the other day, should we get a she shed? 
Oh my gosh, Lisa, that sounds awesome. See, Lisa says, I stayed at the Playboy Club. Shanto, anybody can rent a room. At the end of the month, you're going to be fiddled and around that, oh, I'm broke, guys. I'm broke, guys. I do not care what you have. We, 100%. Strap me in to a lie detector test. Thank you. No one actually stayed at, said I stayed at a castle in Europe. That room is, it's, it's okay. But it's nothing to write home about. It, you never went swimming. It doesn't have a hot tub. You never went, yeah, see, Robert stayed on an aircraft carrier. That's what I'm talking about. Some out-of-the-box type shit. You didn't even go to the pool, dude. It doesn't even have a jacuzzi. Like, bleh. If I want to go to a hotel, I want to have a cool pool or a clean jacuzzi or something. Truth, welcome. Exactly, and that's the thing. You, you, dude, now she's talking about, first off, you're saying it wrong, Chantal. Loopy, welcome. Bella, welcome. She's like, I'm going to get a May ball. I'm like, it's a Maybach there, sugar tits. And do you know how much a Maybach is? Because I do there, Rick Ross. Dude, welcome. P. Forella, welcome. You, dude, nice fancy cars are great and everything. But what would I look like buying a Maybach or a Porsche or whatever the case may be? I want a house. I want a house. I've done the whole car thing. There was points I had points. I had a Lincoln that had a banging system. I had a Mustang convertible and I had a Cadillac. Karen, welcome. I've did the whole car thing. Cars do not hold their value. They don't. Let me tell you that. Cars are the worst investment ever. Now, don't get me wrong. If you've got an old school, you know, like, you know, a collector's car, that holds their value. But the minute, you guys, two of my exes, God rest their soul, that are gone. Cheyenne, welcome. Emily, welcome. Chalmaine, welcome. I know the markup on cars. I know the markup on cars. Thank you, Justice. Well, either way, she was pronouncing it wrong. And I don't know where, like, what'd you do? This is what I think. This is why I was talking about the cars. She's like, oh, Hondas are great cars. That's what my grandma wants. Hondas hold their value. Hondas hold their value. I think that you went over to Buddy's house or wherever you were at. She's like, he really likes cars. He's got a Mercedes. Big stinking ass deal. I got a Mercedes. Foreign cars, the parts are expensive. They're hard to find sometimes. If I did not get this car, see, there's a story with the car that I have. My friend, if you guys remember, I think it's going on two years ago now, when my friend's husband passed. He had just got this car, literally. And him and us were very close. And my friend said, look, I hate to lose the down payment for this car. I hate to see it go. He loved this car. He loved you guys. And basically, I took over the payments. So if this car wouldn't have had a backstory, I would not have got this car. It's a nice car. I needed a four-door, something grandma could get in and out. At the time, I had an Escalade. It was falling to shit in a handbasket. I needed something else at the time, literally. So, it's, it's Chantal. You're, what did you do? Did you go over there and brag about how much money you made? And now you've got this guy thinking that you're rubber band banks over here? Exactly, Patricia. And that's my thing. I got my Nissan parked at Grandma's. I've been thinking about parking the Mercedes, rolling the Nissan just because of gas. So, yeah. 
I mean, the Nissan's sporty looking, don't get me wrong, but, you know, you got to think, times are hard right now. You got gas, some places foreign parts. I mean, any parts are hard to get sometimes. So, Chantal, you're in a fantasy camp. Like I said, you know, it, it's great to have dreams and aspirations, and we all got our dream car. I would love to have the Rubicon Jeep. I think it would be great for the snow, but is it in, you know, my budget in my future anytime soon? Absolutely not. You know, absolutely not. If it came to the Rubicon Jeep or me having a nice new, not new house, but you know what I mean, a place of my own, I'm going to pick a place of my own, a shelter for me and my whoopee dogs. I think you went over there bragging how much money you had to do. Because she's like, oh, dude loves cars. So now she's got this whole big, you know, I need this and want that. Dude, today she's like, what's a G-Wagon? Dude, I've heard you talk about Trisha Paytas' G-Wagon. So let's talk about cars and investments and bags. Somebody struck a nerve about that bag last night. Now, I'm being real with you. Krista, welcome. I'm being real with you. I did not like that purse. I thought that it was paper thin. Now again, I'm just saying, what Chantal picks, that's fine. That's, that's Chantal's taste. It's not my money. I'm just saying, personally, I would not have bought that, especially for $40. But, now today, the bag costs $60. So the bag jumped 20 bucks overnight. She's like, I don't want no Gucci bag. I don't want no Gucci bag. So, somebody struck a nerve with the bag, but we're going to talk about the bag as well. You had me heated earlier, and if I would have had time, I was going to bring it back old school and make a video. Let's talk a little something, because I'm about to run you here in a second. You have absolutely, be careful headphone wearers, because I'm about to get on her ass right now. Dax, welcome. Yes, Vegas, I'm getting there. Uh, uh, that's I'm going right to that, I'm going over there. You have absolutely no room to talk about Monty and that coach bag giveaway. I'm going to tell you something. Monty sends out his giveaways. He does not make anything allegedly what you do. And he does giveaways all the time like I do. Maybe more, I think. You can't send out a thing of coffee. Oh, we're going to watch because the money part had me pissed. Yes, Nancy, you guys were telling me that she spit on the bed of the floor. You listen to me. Monty has given away Canadian necklace and earring sets, crystal, out of the goodness of his heart. He has given away bags upon bags upon little wallets upon little wristlets. Now, let me tell you a little something. No, it's not a giant $400 coach bag. You know why? He could do that, and he's done that. But he's like me. He would rather spread the love out and everybody get like a nice little wristlet and be able to buy four or five or six of them versus one big bag and spread the love out. Coach is quality. Justin's mom, welcome. Thank you, G. Coach is timeless. It is quality. It's classic. It is classic. And I even had that bag that you had in your back seat that your mother or grandma gave you. And I took that thing to the consignment store. The one that had the coach and black and thing. I was like, I'm taking that to the consignment store, campers. Coach bags are timeless. They are exactly ponderous. I have a vintage coach bag that I'm going to take to the consignment store in my next run. 
Exactly, Amberly, and thank you. Coach is timeless. It is classic. It is well made. The fabric ones I have thrown in the wash and hung to dry. Coach is within budget. Some people can't go. Sasha, welcome. Now, do I have a couple decent bags? Yes. But some people can't afford to go spend five, ten, six, seven, eight bands on a on a on a bag. So for you to sit here, and I'm going to play the part because you had me pissed. And then you're going to talk about if I win. You're going to talk about if you win. I commented on his giveaway. If I win, I don't want it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Our giveaways are not rigged, but I'll be damned if you should win anything from him. Effie, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, the coach bags, there's vintage bags. There's some that are highly sought after. Uh, we're, Sasha, we're talking about Sean Tall said that Monty lives in Canada and he's giving away a coach bag that's got stars on and that's silly. Everybody likes stars. Do you have to be from a certain country? And maybe Monty looked at his, um, I can't even think of it right now. I'm so mad. Maybe Monty looked at his where his subscribers are from, and maybe the majority of his subscribers are from the U.S. Who knows? But everybody likes stars. Everybody likes stars. You wouldn't know that. You're such a trendy girl. I'm sorry, and I'm going to say it again. The bag looked like a trash bag. It was floppy. It was thin. It did not have any sort of... It looked thin to me. It looked like that cheap pleather that if it snags something, that it would be done. Now, I'm not going to... I'm not saying that just because it was Sean Toll's bag. I just don't like the bag. So, you can brag about your $40 or $60 bag. I think you got ripped off. Now, yes, let's do that. That was on my list, too. You want to talk about Monty's giveaways. Where's Lambo's coffee? Where's what we talked about? PetSmart, welcome. Where's your souvenirs and postcards there, TOS? Where's your postcards and souvenirs? And where's Lambo's coffee? And maybe you should send Lambo a bag to go with their coffee as long as she's waited. Exactly, Nursum. That bag looked like a pleather plastic. It looked like if something caught it, it would rip in 2.5. Jamie Katz, welcome. So, get over yourself. Nobody cares about your hotel. Nobody cares about your pleather, thank you, monstrosity. Sarah, welcome. Nobody cares. I think that you really think in your head. I don't care. You called Yaba a hick today. Do you think Yaba gives a shit that you think? She's like, her and Sam were very abusive to each other. Dude, they've told their story. It's not your story to tell. Yes, Yaba used to troll and Sam used to troll each other. I think it makes for a great relationship story. Frenemies get together. That's quite a funny story if you ask me. And you want to talk about striking channels. Can be welcome. You want to talk about striking channels. Mama Stringbean, welcome. You, my friend, I would not play that game. Ham and rum, I agree. I don't think FFG cares about you. I don't think Yaba cares about you. I surely don't think Monty cares about you. I don't think Gary cares about you. He sees right through your axe. I don't think Garlic Bread cares about you. I don't think Breeze, I don't think anybody is sweating right now. Garlic Bread said for that he'd rather Stick his eggplant in a car door, per se. We do not care. 
You can send your little trolls over here to say, clean your trailer, your trailer's falling apart, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the night, if I've got a warm bed at the winter or a cool bed if it's the summer, that's all that matters. That's it. As long as the rain and snow don't get in here, that's all that, that I care about. It's a shithole, and it's my shithole, and I've told you that. Amanda Dawn, welcome, love. And you would never, if I wasn't transparent, you would never know that it was a shithole. Sasha, I don't know, love. I do not know. So, go around. Shane, welcome. Think in your little mind that everybody sweat holes because you're in a hotel room. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Gregory, welcome. I don't care. I bet all 331 people in here. Does anybody care? Honestly, show of hands. Stephanie, welcome. Is anybody jealous right now? Val, welcome, love. Is anybody jealous of Chantal's hotel room? I know, and I kept debating. I'm like, do I want some? But it's not that strong. Does anybody care? Somebody that was in Canada, tomorrow they could go rent the same room. Ooh. Exactly, Looney Ben. I still haven't seen one person that cared. Jenna, welcome. Still haven't seen one person that cared. Still haven't seen one person that cared yet. Not one. What I would care about, though, is the people that you keep picking at, like S-Jam and Curly and all them that you keep picking at. I would probably care about that. That's what I would probably care about. Somebody's going to sue your ass one day. And it would make it damn easy. Because everything's archived. Everything. Everything. Man, I've seen re welcome some of the best hotel rooms uh, in Dubai. And that's the thing, dude. She, she, dude, you're literally, you, you're like, where's my food at? Where's my food at? Where's my food at? Where's my food at? This all could be going tomorrow and you don't understand that. Paris, welcome up. You really think that people care? Nobody cares. Nobody. Grumble Bunny, right? Thank you. I was saying that to a friend. Dude, she could have rented... Man, Celtic, welcome. She could have rented... There's so many cool little adventures. And then she stayed again tonight. So what'd she say? I think she said... I, I don't know what to believe. One minute it's 300 a night. One minute it's 600 a night. I don't even know what to believe. I really don't. One minute, oh, it's 300. One minute, it's 600. So who really knows how much the damn thing was? But I would say at this point, going on day three, Stinky Meatball, welcome, that she's probably at least spent a rack, a thousand in my eyes. Now, again, these are not facts. This is only my opinion. Nobody cares. Can we get it again? Nobody cares. Thank you, Raccoon Man. Nobody cares, dude. So, okay, one more thing before we get started. One more thing. So, does anybody look at, now, again, I know I've got anxiety and anxiety can happen anytime. You never know when, you never know, you know, how. Oh, I love a good cup of noodle. You can't go wrong. You didn't look like you had now. I, I want to make this clear. I have anxiety, and I know how it goes, and I'm not trying to go tit for tat. But did anybody see last night when she was sprawled out on the couch, did Chantal look like she had anxiety? Now, I'm going somewhere with this. You went to a strange man's house. You, were, you went to meet him in the car, allegedly, a couple weeks ago. Now, if I got anxiety, that would be the first thing 
That would give me anxiety sitting in a parking lot waiting for somebody. You, my friend, did not look like you had anxiety last night. Yeah, your face was red. You were all sprawled out, chewing your gum. You did not look you did not look nervous in any shape. Now, like I said, I do want to say that I know that anxiety comes and goes. But what I'm getting into is you couldn't go to the biodome today because you had anxiety. I can't go to the biodome. You guys don't understand. You guys just, and those of you that have anxiety, and I know you do, I've got disabilities. And, you know, You don't have anxiety when it was time to meet Natter. Lovely, welcome. You don't have anxiety when it's time to go to Adonis with Natter. Or every, you know, just whenever you and Natter went, oh, we're going to go to the bar tonight. We're going to go to the club tonight. It's interesting to me that your anxiety just magically kicks in when it's something you don't want to do. When it's something that you don't want to do, your anxiety just, oh, guys, I... Where does anybody... Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to answer for me, and then you guys answer. If I have anxiety, where is the number one place that somebody wants to be when they're having anxiety? Me, I want to be at home. When I'm having anxiety, I don't want to be in the car. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be at a bar. I don't want to be there. I want to be at the homeland. Thank you. So you're just staying in this hotel and, you know, you got anxiety, but you can't go to the biodome. And I don't know why you bought that membership to those museums. Exactly. Thank you, Amber, and thank you all. I want to be at home. Minka, welcome. So let's hear what she's got to say about Monty and his giveaways. Monty and his giveaways. And uh, another thing, the more weight that she loses, guys, the more weight that she loses, her fupa is in the way when she has adult activity. So, you know what that makes me think, ladies and gentlemen, why she would bring that up today? Did you give the tuna can away last night? You wonder why people don't respect you. Whiplash, welcome, love. You wonder why men do not respect you. Now, I know shit happens. I'm, um, you know, not saying that shit doesn't happen. Do you, you know, if you feel comfortable, go for it. But you always say, nobody respects me. I don't know why guys don't respect me. Nobody respects me. If you throw the poon out on the first night, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? So that was weird that you said that today. He was like, oh, I gotta get the more weight. Dude, where is this weight loss? Where is this weight loss? Because I'm not being mean when I say that. I'm really not. I, I'm, I'm being serious. I, I'm being honestly serious. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I am being serious. Where is this weight loss? Now, to me, if the FUPA is growing, that, to me, would make you think that you had more weight putting on. If the FUPA is getting bigger, hence the word, wouldn't you think you would be good at putting on more weight? I'm just saying. And I'm not trying to weight shame. I'm not trying to be funny. Um, if, if, you're, if you're losing weight, it's going to come up a little bit because it's got all that weight pushing it down. So, let's hear what she's got to say about Monty's giveaway. This took me, I, 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 if I didn't have things to do earlier, I was like, man, I'm about to make a quick video. 
about to make a quick video. Lynn, welcome. Yeah, old Barracuda. EP, welcome, love. I think I already said. But, okay, here's my thing, too. Don't you think... Ruby, welcome, love. Don't you think, Chantal... Well, I always got to remember who we're talking about here. You read those health chart things on your phone the other day, and you said, I didn't know I had three STDs, allegedly. I didn't know I had three STDs. Don't you think that you would want to make sure you had a clean bill of health before you slept with other people? But again, I have to remind Cheryl, welcome, good evening. I have to remind myself who we're talking about. So let's hear to the person who still hasn't sent out Lambo's little thing of coffee that is not expensive. The package goes on weight. But you're, you're, you're talking about Monty's giveaway here. Let's, let's just watch this and then we'll continue. You do a lot of body shaming. For talking about body shaming. Unicorn. I welcome. Lumpy, welcome. You literally talked A&W, welcome. You talked shit all day today. And about the things that you were talking shit and complaining about other people, you did to your viewers. Oh, you're out of here. I'll be damned, and I've said this a million times. If you talk to me like that, she's like, you can take your $4.99. If you're, Melanie, welcome. You can take your $4.99. You're not going to talk and abuse me. Chantal, you don't like anybody that goes against the grain. Anybody that says anything. You literally spent all this money, and we love that for you. Kelly D., welcome, love. You spent all this money to do the same bullshit as you do at home. Orange is porn, just welcome. Now, Aaron, welcome. I'm going to say something. Let's watch this first. And then we're going to open up a whole other can of worms that Chantal, you are foul for. Peach girl, welcome. Thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Welcome, everybody. Chill in the background. So, if you're just coming in. This is what Chantal has to say. This is her first video of the day. So she's definitely feeling some sort of way. So let's hear tonight what she has to say about Monty's giveaway. Let's let's hear what, you know, hints postcard or a souvenir captain here that's sent nothing out. Oh my God, Monica, it looks like Brooke A's cat. You, oh my God, you're so right. And the cat is so friendly. Hi, Jay. Okay. <sighs> Rebecca. Thank you, Tim. Um, I don't know. Her name. I don't think it has a pool. How do you um, not know if it has a pool or not? See, she doesn't care what it's got. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. You don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> say it. Very slippy. No, it's not. The bottom is like a different, it's not slippy at all. <laughs> Monty fan is obsessed. They're obsessed, like obsessed. Like they get like, I understand that you cannot get subscribers or views without me. I get that. But fuck, like you sound pathetic. You need to know that. You are up there criticizing what I spend, what I, who I fuck, what kind of purses I buy. Meanwhile, you're giving away an American coach bag for Canada Day, make it make sense. Like, is that not, a, it has the stars on it, like the American colors. Okay, <laughs> if I win it, cool. <laughs> I don't want it. I commented as a joke, but we really don't need your fucking discount. You can buy a coach purse at like Winners and you're making fun of my purse. This is a fucking designer purse from the boutique. It was actually like fucking, I don't know, maybe 60 bucks. <laughs> Boring lies is not the fucking end of it. So, I so I love this. I love this. Did you guys catch that? If I win it, dude, have you lost your marbles? First off, Pagan, welcome. If the coach bags are so cheap and you can buy them at winners, go buy a slew of them and give them away. 
Go buy a slew of them and give them away. Leave them packaged. Don't carry them. Monty even said one night, he said, I want to show you all this. But you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to open it up. I want to leave it intact for whoever gets it. So leave the bags untacked. Don't carry them around or intact. Don't carry them around. And buy a slew of them. And did you catch that? She threw shade and then said, if I, I left a comment, if I win the giveaway. If I, so in her little mind, she tried to show, throw shade and then said, if I win the giveaway. I thought the bag sucked. I thought you didn't like the bags. Why'd you say if you win the giveaway? Trying to get your little bag there? This is great. This is absolutely, I'm sure you guys have probably heard this a million times all day, but I, I had to cover this today. This is great, y'all. If she wins the giveaway, y'all. So she wants to talk shit, but she in her little mind. If she wins the giveaway, guys. Triggers give another boring tale, doesn't it? Anyways, like, look. In at, in the end, I don't care that they're doing this. Actually, go ahead, talk about me. Like you're keeping me relevant, but don't you think that like it's a little bit like I don't know, hypocritical? <laughs> Is that the word? There's like literally a freaking fat person. Like, hold on. Hold on, y'all. What? Megaphone, some of those reaction channels need to step in. They're a little obsessed. Like, I literally will take a shit and Monty will be up at 3 in the morning reporting on it. Well, it might be a corny shit. So she spent $60 on Uber Eats at the Mexican restaurant on the Caddy Boulevard, but we shall see. You want me to show you what it looks like? Get your fix there, buddy. Rip open the bag. So, this is great, though. Catch this. I caught this coming up. Yes, guys, Monty is stories from the internet. So, catch this coming up. She says, I do like, though, some of the things that he talks about, facts that I don't think of. What I think is, she's talking about when he unravels things about Natter. Nicole, not too uh, late, actually. This, my friend, listen. You may think that any of us give a flying shit and are obsessed with you. But strap me to a lie detector test, like I said. Peace and love. Welcome. I do not think that anybody on here or anybody over at Monty's, FFG, Yaba, so on, so on, Pulpy, Alex, oh, who else do we got? Gary, Stories, um, and so on and so on. I don't think that anybody is jealous of you. Not one single person that I can literally think of. Now, that's another thing, Mandy, and welcome. I don't think you understand how this little terrarium works here. Your little, your, your, your views, all your little Karina Kaboom, your storylines. I've seen in people's comment section, Mallory, welcome. They say, who is Foodie Beauty? Who is Amber Lynn? Without you, I don't know who that is. You guys even know that we have people that come over here from the angry grandpa community that had no idea who she was. So I don't think she want, like realizes how this all works. Same for Amber Lynn. And Amber, yes, Rose too. Thank you. Sorry, guys. They're so, I'm like, I did. They're, Amber Lynn has been fading into oblivion. People are sick of Amber Lynn's shit. 
They're sick of the games. They're sick of the trolling. And I will say this one more time. Amber Lynn, Jen, Foodie, troll all you want. Because at the end of the day, we all clock off here. I don't know exactly, Amber who, once in a while I'll see what Amber's doing, but that's it. Your little, oh, this food is healthy for me. Thumbnails. You have to walk around in that body. You have to, if shit hits the fan, wonder what you're going to do. Remember you were just selling some trinkety trinks and some bath the body candles? Last summer, for the same price that you can get the bastards on sale? Why would I want to buy a candle off you when I could go pick my own scent? Well, I must put it in tiny. When I could pick my own scent. Thank you, Vegas. Why would I make it make sense? Why would I pay you more? Gypsy, welcome. Champs, welcome. At the end of the day, the joke is on you guys. Because in my opinion, you've spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And yeah, I like my trinkets too. But would I rather have a nice house? 100. That's mine. Not renting. Not leasing. Yeah, that apartment's cute, Amberlynn has. But I'm sure that joker is... Probably 2300 And that's another thing, Harley. Somebody said, did you see Kashi Star's hotel bees? Yeah, I did. She lurks around and finds, just like y'all, what do we say? Charcuterie board? She said it the one day. She literally said it. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I like all that stuff. But can I say that I've won hundreds of thousands of dollars? No. Absolutely not. Amber would be shit up creek if something went down. And I'm going to say something right quick. This is way off topic, but I want to, I've been wanting to say this. And I know it's not you guys. For those people congratulating Jen and Jean on their car, you might want to go find Jean's story time of what happened allegedly, when he got into a wreck with his ex-girlfriend and his dog. And you tell me, congratulations on a car. Allegedly, he took the purse and ran. Allegedly, he left the girl set there unconscious and the dog hurt and whining, allegedly, and ran. So to the people congratulating them on a car... Do you want your family on the road? You tell me. There's a story time of it. Find it. I don't know who's got it. But allegedly, he had a couple too many sips of the old sauce. And he tells the story. He left. His first instinct was to grab the purse. I'm assuming the ID. Left the girl unconscious. Thank you, Colleen. Yes, these are his own words. Thank you, uh, Shallow Villa Hotel. He left the scene of the accident, allegedly, with the girl and the dog in the car, and his first instinct was to grab the purse. So congratulations on the car, Jean. Absolutely not. You know how many comments I was seeing? Congratulations on your car. Can you imagine that being exactly Cheryl, exactly Peach Girl? Can you imagine the first thing? The, the, he, he, the people called the cops, allegedly sarcastic welcome that who's ever yard or telephone pool or tree or whatever he ramped in can you imagine having your loved one and your pet in the car and to grab the purse and off you go that wouldn't even exactly colleen 
I'm glad you guys seen this to know, allegedly, that I'm not bullshitting. And you want to think something, Jen? Do you not think that now he's got wills to go? You helped him get a car. You're not getting that car. We all know that. We all know that. Yeah, exactly, Shallow Villa. He allegedly laughed and smirked while telling the story. Adriana, welcome. So to the people that say, oh, Jen, sweet, shit in my canoe. And Jen, did you, do you think? Jen's not getting out that. She won't get out the bed to go to the kitchen. Do you think that she's going to ride around town in that car? Exactly, pet smart. He can roach around and meet whoever and whatever he wants, and he could get in that son of a... Should be like, toodaloo back to Texas I go, boo. How are you doing? Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. So, people, not you. So, to those congratulating Gene and Jen for the car, might want to thank for you say congratulations and go find that story. You can find the whole part, whole two-part story on Kidney J's channel. Thank you, Baroness. Check it out. Yes, and I love Kidney J. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful woman. Shows the real trials and tribulations that she goes through. Very strong woman. Honest to God. I, I, Kidney J is absolutely sweet. And she just comes on here, does her thing, and still has her health issues. And she gets on here and tells it like it is. I really like Kenny J. I really do. Exactly, Raccoon. I can't imagine what would make... Getting into a wreck is scary alone. But can you imagine your first... I, I can't even... That is not even what be... Like, how would you even think of that? What would make you think to... And then... Pat her on. Welcome. And then he says something like he slept in like a... I don't know. But... Anyways, let's continue. Yes, guys. Check out Kenny J. She really is a warrior, and, and she, she's been through so much, and she, she continues just to, she, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't come on here and complain, she doesn't come on here and feel sorry for me, she doesn't, you know, say, oh, you know, guys, eh. yeah, was it Grumble Bunny a storm drain or something? So your intuition was to run away. Didn't even... He's like, oh, I seen the neighbors peeping out, and allegedly I hold ass. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the look. She is happy as a kid at Christmas. Look at her. She's like, Meow. let's rip this puppy open. You know, guys, because we're so jealous here. All right, get your little jealous seatbelt extenders on. Off we go. Let's, y'all, I'm going to be, crab apples, welcome. I'm going to tell you tonight. Peace and love. Thank you, love. And welcome, everybody, chilling in the background. I know some people do laundry. Some people, you know, sweep, clean their bathroom, whatever the case may be. Thank you, everybody, chilling. Listen, she is very vile today. Yes, chow man, we got raccoon. You know what's weird? I had a tree cut down that was dead on the side and knock on wood. I think that's how they were getting up the side of the house. So I'm hoping that. Uh, knock on wood, y'all. We'll hear something in the attic two minutes from now. But, um, listen. She is very, very left. Welcome. She is very mean tonight. And I want to say, if you pay attention, all the things that she's talking about is what she does in this video. Everything 
body shaming, look shaming, being shallow, talking about money, you're jealous, da, 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 da. I got this, I got that, oh, I'm going to stay another night. <laughs> oh, you know what they did tell her to? Do you guys remember my comment? I said, if you have to eat a candy bar or two, if you're stuck with no ride or had a couple drinks and you must get something off the mini bar, what did I say? I didn't say replace the whole shebang. I said, if you got to replace one or two items, they're over there telling her to pour water. Jeannie, welcome. Pour water in the water bottles. It is the pandemic still. Have you lost your marbles? She's like, <laughs> that's a good idea. Replace the stuff. You can pour water in the water bottles. So, my friends, I didn't even think of that. What I said was, if you had a couple drinks or didn't have a ride and was stuck in a hotel and absolutely had to eat something, you could replace a candy bar or a small thing of Pringles. So, I didn't even think of that. Make sure you check the waters to get the snap test. Saint, welcome. So, Kim, welcome and thank you. And I was not, I, I, I was not trying to cheat the system. That is not what I was trying to do. Morbid, welcome. Morbidly, morbidly obese narcissist, welcome. I wasn't trying to cheat the system. I was just saying, if you know, you had a couple drinks, you're stuck without a ride or something at that current time, and you must, you know, not everybody's balling out here on Maybach. Old Richard Ross. All right. Well, let's go back to Richard. Let's go back to Rick Ross over here in the old Maybach Studios. What is it? Maybach music. Your bag is not designer? Yeah, it is. Her bag's designer. Clothing places has different... Um, this is great, y'all. Vendors. So it's not... It's handmade. It's not like a... It's not like a Listen to this. This is letter. great. Little obsessed. Like I literally will take a Okay, so she says, Yes. Yes, my bag is designer. Well, of course everything's designed. What the chat was saying, it's not Gucci Louis Fendi Prada. She's like, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. What they were saying is it's it's not Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that a sixty dollar or four. He only knows. Yesterday it was forty. Today it's sixty dollars. I'm not. I've got cheap bags. Y'all know that. You've seen in my hauls. I've got good bags, cheap bags, in between bags. But watch. She's like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Man, if you can get a $60 designer purse, let me know. Even on the... You know what, guys, too? I had a friend the other day looking for a Pacific bag, and it was vintage. Some of the, like... I forget what the site's like. Something real. And some of the... And also, you guys. And I do as well. I take mine to a local consignment store. But if you've got high-end bags, some of those sites well, you know... Or if you're looking for a Pacific bag... You can really get some nice pieces, you know, 50% off, 40% off. But, guys, check out, and again, non-sponsored, Nordstrom's clearance has been banging lately. I'm like, no. But there's some, like, real cool MCM bags that have been hitting for, like, five, fit. Now, again, I'm talking designer, you know, but there's, yes, the real world. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy's like me, man. But um, you can find some really nice wallets on Nordstrom's clearance, some Moschino, different things, Nordstrom Rack. Yes, thank you, Lumpy. But anyways, um, I keep looking at these MCM bags on Nordstrom's, and I'm like, <laughs> the magic dress is magical, y'all. Wait for it. I haven't tried it on yet, but the fabric, the skims, I did not want to like it, but I think I'm going to love it. Yes, Tradesy. And guys, if you have local consignment stores, like mine, you can bring the bags in, and if they don't sell, you can get them back. Yes. 
Um, I don't know. I don't think TJ Maxx still does layaway. But years ago, when Michael Kors first started Got Pop, and yes, Depop, um, when Michael Kors started Got Pop, it, I um, wanted one. And big at the time, I had one on layaway. It was funny. This is a cool little story. We'll get right back to it. I put money down on this bag. So I go in there to get the bag, you know, on my payday. I had put it on layaway. And they're like, here you go. And I'm like, no, no, I have to finish. Here's my receipt. I need to finish paying on it. And they're like, no, somebody came in and paid this off. And I'm like, are you sure? You know, here's my slip. And he had went in and paid for the bag and I just got to pick it up. So I don't think TJ Maxx still does layaway, but you guys, the coach outlets, there's so many cool things to get bags for a reason. Yeah, you guys, there. I'm like, no, I need to, like, there was still, like, you know, when Michael Kors first came out, even at TJ Maxx, they were still hitting for, like, two-something, two-fifty. And I was like, here's my slip. I need to, and they're like, no, somebody came in and paid. It's yours paid. I'm like, oh, <laughs> let me get out of here. But anyways, check out the coach outlets. Check out Nordstrom Cell, Nordstrom Rack. And, you know, don't, like I said, I have bags that I've gotten used. You know, uh, old fiance went and paid. And, uh, you know, I had it in layaway and he went and paid on it and snuck in there. I was like, that is one of the, I'll never forget that. I think that was one of the coolest little things. Um, anyways, all right, Saint. I don't know if layaway is still a thing, but you know what? I got a Nordstrom's card and sign up for the Nordstrom's Nordy Rewards. And um, you can make, you know, it's not layaway, but it's like you're kind of afterpay is the devil, but I love it. Um, Nordstrom's has afterpay. I don't, I think Nordstrom's rack has uh, afterpay. So you can, and, and again, I don't ever want to stray. Okay, TJ Maxx doesn't do layaway anymore. Okay, but anyways, Moschino Love is a little bit cheaper than the main Moschino. I've got some Moschino Love bags. So if you guys, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to, you know, push cards on anybody. But if there's something you're looking for, you know, like I said, I pay payments on stuff and after pay, there is no shame. Um... It's, I need, our girl, I put it in my safety deposit box. I've got to get it sized. I'm not going to, yeah, that's, I still have my ring. And I know it's disrespectful, as Amberlynn would say. Um, but I put it in my safety deposit at the bank. I got a cool Junie and Burke bag at the consignment store the other day. I'll show you. It's a vintage one. It's super cute. A little Aussie welcome. But um, I don't like to wear a bunch of my rings in the pool. And I need to get it sized. I've been fiddle titting around and... I need to get it sized, basically. So I still got it. I just, you know, I use a lot of cleaners in the summer, pool chemicals. I don't want to scratch, you know. Um, what? Rena Center has bags? Holy mongooses. Okay, here we go, y'all. I apologize. Here we go. Sorry, yeah, sorry. In the morning reporting. Sorry, Gypsy. Sorry. Well, it might be a corny shit. She spent... $60 on Uber Eats at the Mexican restaurant on the Teddy Boulevard, but we shall see. You want me to show you what it looks like? Your bag is not designer? Yeah, it is. This boutique of clothing places has different um, vendors, so it's not, it's handmade, it's not like a, it's not like a designer Gucci, whatever. I'm just shit. I'd rather buy a cute bag like that for $5 than a Gucci bag. That looks like every other bag. Wait a minute. So it went, okay, wait. It jumped, the bag jumped from $40 to $60. Now the bag was $5. I'm confused. It's hard to hear. Okay, I'll turn our speaker on. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't sound a turret. How much was this bag, y'all? It, it was, yes, Aldo has... Actually, word is blown. I did a haul last summer, the summer before, with a really cute auto bag. Really cute. If you guys remember, it looked like a little suitcase, and it had um. Here we go. Patches. Sure. Okay. What the hell? What? That 
was me talking. What is going on, y'all? Did y'all hear that? What? Did y'all hear my voice in that? I didn't even know this thing. I've looked over the manual to do a review, and I don't even think this. Well, obviously, can record. Let's hope. I did a re. I did a review on this, and nowhere did I see this thing records. Ak. Oh yeah, that's another thing. She's like, what's this bag? It's to put your stuff in. I'm like, it's a it's a dust bag. You put the bag in it when you're not using it. I don't know, y'all. Here we go. Let's I don't know what that was all about. Up that cherry. Naya. I like my own style. I don't follow the crowd in case you haven't noticed. She don't follow the crowd, y'all. Hold on, this part's really? great. It's not Hold on. Style. She's got her own style. She don't follow the crowd, y'all. But, yeah, we wore stars on St. Patrick, or excuse me, little St. Patrick's, and the next day she had them. Okay, y'all, here we go. Let's hope we don't get speaker interference, but I did think it was getting a little hard to hear. She follows her own style. Re, that's what taught oranges. I'm telling you, this thing might go swimming tonight. Guys, I did a review on this, read the manual, and nowhere did I think that, look... I thought, look, our, I'm like, is it rolling through the other device? No. Oh, look at her community tab right quick. You guys still love me, right? We all have that one friend. So, Chantal, you're putting this up. This could be somebody with a mental health problem and just not lazy. But, you know, do you, boo? You've got your own style. She don't follow you guys still love me, right? We all have that one friend. So, yeah. Let's see what else there is. Y'all, still with this cat, it will not leave me. Oh, and then we got the one from... Does that look like anxiety? Exactly. Bragging about a messy car, Chantal, is not a, um, whatever. Okay, here we go, y'all. Hopefully this, we get no static interference, and off we go. A Gucci, whatever. I'm going to shit. I thought it was like, a shit. Like that for $5, then a Gucci bag. That looks like every other bag. Tomorrow this bag will be oh, 100 Jerry? bucks, y'all. Pep em, welcome. Naya, I like my own style. I don't follow the crowd, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, we know. We know. Salad. I was looking forward to this. But now I don't have a fork to eat it with. Oh, I guess I gotta eat a savage. No. Go for it. Go for it, bud. So I'm eating rotisserie Coco Rico. It's like a Piri Piri place. This is Portuguese bread. Chicken, rotisserie chicken with their sauce and potato. I think I'm gonna do a series of one night order things. I'm gonna like. Do a screen Shit, thing and sorry, I'm myself ordering. I like cut my toe. And then when it arrives, like Uber Eats series. And then when it arrives, ooh, that's a brilliant I idea. I can taste it and make it a video and make money. <laughs> yeah, as long as I like it, what does it matter what the handbag costs? Number one. Number two. Can we go look for ice? Eh? What is this? Oh, it's curry curry sauce. That's another thing she don't get. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Got caught my toe. I got a quick pee break. The old coffee's kicking in. Nobody cares about how much the purse costs. We said it was fugly. Yeah, that's a thing too, Harley. You need to invest in a brawl, Chantal. You need to invest in a brawl, homie. 
night Vegas, get some rest, you need to invest in a brawl. Because when it's cutting all the way up here, Chantal, look. Do you see any meatage? This, sorry, I need a quick shave. Do you see any meatage? There's no meatage. Your brawl should not be bunching up in meatage. So you bragging, sorry y'all, you bragging about this, I don't know what, tomorrow the bag will be $500. Today it was five, it was 60 earlier, it was 40 yesterday, this bag's gonna be $300 tomorrow. Sorry, I keep making the price, but uh, I would invest in a brawl. Okay, Am Amanda Whitney, welcome. Okay, I gotta pee, coffee's kicking in, check on the wobbles, let them potty. Oh, y'all get ready, this is like... We're not going to watch the whole eating, but I want... Look at the hotel room already. I love it. What is... Hold on, y'all. What is that? Oh, her CPAP thing. Okay, y'all. I got to pee right quick. Check on the wubs. And off we go. But this is great, y'all. Get ready. Now, we're, when I get back, we're not going to miss... Coda, welcome, love. We're not going to watch the whole eating, but I want, this is when the rage starts. So we're going to we'll start the eating and then we'll skip through it. Hold on. Let's skip through fork part. I can't do y'all like that. Look at this. This is how long it takes her to find a fork. Look at this. Dude, this is literally like 10 minutes I've rolled ahead. And I go to press it and it's like just standing there. I'm claustrophobic, right? So I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I'm so she... She think I think she locked herself out the room. Had to go down to the bar to get ice. I'm sure there's an ice machine somewhere. We love that for you. Exercise who? Got on the elevator and helped me out. And then I come up here and I'm like, how in the hell? You know what I mean? Do the cherries on the dress do it? No, no. Holly, I just the the Like. You can totally sleep in a friend's bed, didn't you know that? <coughs> Nothing wrong with it. Anyway. <laughs> Why do I have this life? This is not my fault. This is not my fault. <laughs> Shit happens. I'm kidding. Woe is me. So, here we go. Am I mean? Was I mean to Monty? <laughs> I feel bad now. I'm fucking manic. Okay. Salad. I'm torn between giving a shit what people say and not giving a shit. And the only reason I give a shit what people say is because it's hypocritical in a lot of ways. Pizza. When I lost my eyelashes, I started wearing V-necks because I told them. Monty? Same hotel, yeah. <laughs> oh, I slept for like three hours, maybe? Best sleep. Mmm, caught black cherry. So, I ordered from the Piri Piri restaurant. I'll show you the sandwich. Pickles, mayo, peri peri sauce, and I'm actually, what is this? Going to dip it more in this peri peri sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm gonna like get up, try to do some videos in here of the room and yoga and all that shit. And then I'll probably go to do something tomorrow and then I'm gonna head home because I have plans with Kevin. My sister's mad at me right now. I don't know, I haven't checked my messages. I was supposed to be there already. Current bucket, I'm not leaving the hotel room today. He isn't taking out payday loans. Okay, why does it matter, Diamond? 
what what my finances are. Does it fucking matter? How do you know he's not taking out payday loans? You don't know anything about him. You also know very little about me and my financial situation. I actually like fucking purposely lead you guys off to scent trail sometimes. And you go with it. And I let you because it makes me money. So I'll say things like, Like, you really don't, like, why, why does it even matter? Like, why does it even matter? <clears throat> like, why does it matter, bro? Because of why? You can leave. Like, why are you here? From now on? If you're just here to be an asshole, goodbye. Go hang out with other, better, well-to-do fatties. We're not criticizing your weight, we're criticizing your personality. So calling me a 400-pound cheetah is what part of my personality? Moron. You know what? And the guy last night was so right. Let these people talk about me. Any attention is good attention, and it's true. But it's just like, sometimes I need to point out how stupid and hypocritical it is. Like, you literally are glorified bullying at this point, and you literally have a fucking porker on your panel. And yes, I'm calling them that because I don't have to. Uh, like, sorry, like, I'm not claiming to be self righteous. Like, I'm an asshole, fine, whatever. But usually in self defense, there's a difference between being ageless beauty. What's your fucking problem? Do you have a problem? I'd like to hear it before you get blocked. Are you talking about me? Then yes, I'll sit and rage in my fucking hotel room all I want. <laughs> They're not too long. <laughs> Porker. This guy is a dork with a bad And he laughs like a fucking... He makes fun of me like, really? Mm. Are people really shocked that a YouTuber tries to make money by keeping their own YouTube Yes. They also still don't think YouTube is a job. Despite me having, like, earned, like, triple my pay, like, quadruple any paycheck I've ever had. <laughs> but, go off. His panels are whack, like... <clears throat> Dad bots are sexy? Okay. That's what his self-defense would be. So maybe some people think 400 pounds, even though not 400 pounds, people are sexy, but you look like a fucking idiot having a 400 pound person on your panel who's uglier than me, objectively, making fun of me. What? Kill life. Whatever. <clears throat> when you're actually a hot ass bitch, then come at me. Until then, have several seats and don't break the chair. Thanks. <clears throat> Dad was no. Well, I mean, for some people. I know, gave him a view, but for now, I mean, where do these channels think they're gonna go? Like, they're only relevant when I'm messy. And even then, only to a certain extent. Like, he probably thinks he's gonna be FFG or whatever. Who, by the way, I still haven't gone after for bullying, but I will. It's not a rage of your defense. Of defending the abuse they give out? Mm hmm. Exactly. I don't care. Tweet to you. <laughs> She's another hypocritical bitch. I'm tired of like bigger messes than me for a second. Get away. But it's always that way. Happy people who have their shit together. As messy as I am, I have my shit together and enough self respect that I don't need to have a fucking reaction channel, not showing my face. Because I'm doing drugs on stream. Criticizing other people for doing drugs. Most channels might start to give advice and start into a pack of wild dogs. So like literally, like nobody, like why even have people like this on the net? You just you don't have a constructed. You have a trashy channel, basically, to Monty. You have a pe you just invite anybody up who just wants to make fun of me. There's no fucking valid. There's not many valid talking points that you try to lead talk about, and you're obviously bothered. So now you just start making fun of me. You can't. You can dish it, but you can't take it. All the reaction can channels can dish it, and they can't take it. I find that fucking funny. Really. Yeah. <laughs>
Hi, Johnny. <clears throat> Hi, Clive Pinger Pondale. Like, literally nobody even knows who these people are. Like, there's someone, like, with an old, they have, like, 500 subscribers. Like, when you have 90,000 subscribers, then come at me. Obviously, I'm doing something right. I don't have actually, I'm not doing it right because for as long as I've been on YouTube, but. <clears throat> I feel like once I start getting out of this fucking mess and actually being productive, I don't blame anyone for that. Lack of success is on me. I'm lazy. I have no work ethic. I know. I anymore? I think I'm just too fucking old for it. I used to watch Monty until I commented on it. Oh, they took the making fun of you and the DV situation and they came back and said that he it. He talks a lot of shit about somebody who sits in his fucking room all day. He has no life experience. Come at me when you've fucking been in my shoes, asshole. Thank you. At least people like Obese to Beast have fucking, they can talk on my, you know, they, I mean, they've been there. They're not rude. Like, that's a real critique channel, in my opinion. You can only wish your channel would be like that someday. I don't watch Obese to Beast and I don't have the same views at all about fat acceptance. It's not about accepting your weight. It's about not fucking hating yourself while you're working on yourself. Dude, what it... <clears throat> Okay, here we go again. Guys, I don't know what is up with the static. It's got to be the speaker. We were good before the static. Okay, where do we even begin? Monty and people have no life experience. Monty's lived in different countries. He talks about places that you could go visit that you don't. He... <laughs> he's lived in all kinds of countries he tells all these place which I told him hey Monty quit quit telling her ideas let her figure it out herself all these places that's around you that you could go show that you choose not to and I want to ask you this I want to ask you this up front and center Greeny welcome love welcome everybody coming in I missed I had to pee and let the wobbles out yeah, we're going to go there, too. Uh, welcome, Monique. Who who runs away? Henrietta, welcome. Who you dish it out and say people can't take it? Has anybody had a breakdown on here or cried or, oh, my God, foodie beauty bullied me? <laughs> Nikki Nacnisi, welcome. You are literally shoveling it in. As you're talking about working, quote unquote, in yourself, in a hotel room, again, that anybody could rent, and you just think you are hot sauce with your boutique bag. Now, let's go back to life experiences. And again, let me know if there's anybody Chantal's read out, ran off the internet or made. Uh, if I do recall, remember years ago, was the guy's Simon or something, remember? She's like, and your nose is probably bigger than your, eh. You're the one that comes on here and rage in the cage. So, let's go back to working on yourself and life experiences. You lived in Cornhall. Monty has a degree that he finished... You even said it yourself. What? what? Where have you been? Cuba? And you stayed at the resort and you didn't even take us around the resort. Oh, we're going to go to the snack bar tonight. We'll go check out around. Sir Clean, welcome up. You didn't even really show us the resort. Nobody still has any idea what that resort had to offer but what you showed. 
you, and I don't care what you say, again, these are only my opinions. You literally were on the beach for like 15, 20 minutes. Dude, you could not have pried my asparagus off that beach. They would have been like, excuse me, ma'am. You okay? You need some water? Another margarita? Yeah, thank you, Naughty Gamer. You went to the U.S. to McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. Nice, Nisi Nisi. You dated Pete's. The guy that you dated in high school had a pregnant girlfriend. You dated Pete's and said you lived in a roach, in your words, in a roach-infested place. At one point, you were doing clothing hauls. In my opinion, it looked like from your mom's. And the clothes were too small. She was like... So, tell us about life experiences. About the life experience of taking a poo in a, in a couple's bathroom because nobody had ever spent 200 on you, remember? And you didn't even get to keep the money because it went to the taxi, allegedly. So, Pete tells us that you used to go, he used to go to the gas station every night to get snacks for you and walk over there so tell us about your life experiences the guy that had the pregnant girlfriend the guy that rented the hotel and allegedly ditched you for your friend the couple that didn't want anything to do with you once you got there oh let's okay here guys this is what she's going to go back to Katimovic. dude you were 15 16 years old what else? And before you say, oh, what about your... Honey, I got pictures from all over the U.S. I told you, me and my little backpack, I lived out of two suitcases and a backpack for years, and off I go. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Whiplash. What about the bro uh, the brothers you allegedly uh, celery stalked? And their dad had to finally tell you to beat it. So let's talk about your life experiences, shall we? The, the the who the hospital that let you go allegedly because the doctor didn't like you. Yeah, your uh, French guy. Thank you guys. Look at y'all throwing it. The French guy that you hid beside or behind his dresser, Carla. Welcome. So let's hear about your life experiences. Where have you been? What concerts have you been to? Because I got books and books of all kinds of receipts. What stories do you have that aren't from when you were 15, 16 years old? We're, we're still waiting. You can pull this shit in your own little mind that you're so bad and bougie that you make five figures allegedly a month. You are sitting in a hotel room by yourself ripping the bags open literally that if you opened them right you could put the trash back in like a normal citizen and then she's talking about it tonight what what is the appropriate tip to leave in a hotel room like this i don't know i thought you tipped all the time but i do recall when you was leaving the chocolates and you ate them, and you sneaked pizza in, and I think that was the last straw for BB. <laughs> oh, exactly, Saint. And and she, yeah, Raccoon Man says he's been to twenty. What is it? Twenty-seven countries and still counting. Check out my parody of Joe Kane if you haven't seen it. Quite lovely. Tell us more, Chantal, because I can read here in the chat all three hundred ninety people that have got experiences I'm not talking about eating gas station snacks every night ice cream and beef jerky that you made your fiance the simp walk and go get every night and you're oh I just let people run with it no Yaba busted your toe out Pete said easy finance cold 
So if you want to think, oh, I just run with things and let you guys go with it and it makes me money. Yeah, it does make you money. It does. But I still think, in my opinion, you owe a loan somewhere. And I still think, in my opinion, that you're going to run from it. And I still think, in my opinion, that you lost your bank card. That you tried to switch accounts for them to not get in your in your bank. But they're still going to come get their money. So tell me again that, you know, you people make up stories and run with it. Did Yaba pay? Did Yaba pay Pete's? Did Yaba pay Pete's to say that he woke up at 11 or excuse me, 1040, 20 till 11 with easy finance calling him? Did you get paid today? I don't think so. Because everybody's blocked on Twitter, allegedly. Let's do snack the day and get back to it. She is, in my opinion, you literally are talking about people talking about you, but talking about people on Monty's channel, oh, well, 400 pounds, but I'm not 400 pounds. Take us. I will make, actually, I got to be careful what I say on here. We will do something for you. I will do something for you. Go to the doctor's office. And step on that scale. And again, I could give two shits about your weight. It's your personality that I'm here for. Or lack thereof. But if you want to prove us all wrong, go to the doctor's office and step on the scale. Because I do not believe your scale at home. And you really quickly jumped off the one in the hotel. So, take us to the doctor's office. No stunts. No jumping on, jumping off. Take us in the doctor's office. And I'm in. And you can say, well, weigh yourself. I will. I've showed it on my community tab before. But it's not about your weight, see. We're here for your attitude. You're the one that likes to throw weight in. You're the one that likes to throw other people's looks in. You're the one that likes to say, oh, Kaya and her scratchy-ass voice. Smoking a bunch of cigarettes. Not again. Welcome. Well, you know what? I'm clean and I can piss in a cup. And just so happens, yes, I do need to leave nasty cigarettes alone. But it's way better than the other stuff I was putting in my body. Choice is yours. I'm in. See, you want to... I've had this raspy ass voice since the get-go. You can ask anyone that knows me. My voice has been like this since I was young, cigarettes or not. I've always had a raspy voice. All right, let's do snack of the day. It is an American throwback, and we will get right back to it. So these are White Castles, my friends. Whoa, if I don't drop them. These are White Castles. These are White Castles. You can get them with cheese, without cheese. Panama, welcome. Man, exactly. Exactly, Panama. I don't believe... I think people were like, story time, story time, Chantal. I don't believe... I think we've all heard her story times. Oh, here's another thing she says today that was great. I am going to be me. I am not going to be a cookie cutter channel. Now, I do makeup and skincare and food and things like that because I like it. But if I do recall, you started your channel cookie cutter. You started your channel doing Jeffree Star makeup. Doing, I do this stuff because I want to do it. Because I enjoy doing it. Not because I'm trying to, I know that Ipsy's never going to or Boxy's never going to give me some play. I don't give a shit. I do it because I want to. But today, she's like, I'm not going to be a cookie cutter channel. Who thinks here, did Chantal invent mukbangs? Thank you, sarcastic. That's right where I was going. Chantal, you got hot, you jumped on the mukbang, and you caught some luck. In my opinion, I would rather get two, three hundred views doing these little bags than eating myself into oblivion for a couple bucks. You have people that watch you. Some of them, they're called feedies. Feeders. And they only want to see you get bigger 
and bigger. And you know why they watch you? Because they live vicariously through you. When they watch you at night and they want to eat White Castles or whatever the case may be, why do you think, Chantal, they say, order a pizza, get a Sunday, get this, get that, get that? Because they're at home setting, allegedly, so they don't eat. They would rather see you get big than have the calories. Now, speaking of calories, let's do this. So, if you do not have White Castle, I know they're only in some states, but they have White Castle in the freezer section. Now, they're pretty close. They're pretty good. You got to be careful and don't overheat them, but they taste identical. So, I like White Castle. They have chicken rings, onion rings. They have crinkle cut french fries, cheese sticks. They have really good meatless burgers. Ashley, welcome. They've got veggie patties that are great. I get those once in a while. They have red pop. I absolutely love red pop. So, it's it's kind of... um. I think this has been around since the 30s or 40s, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even 20s. So here's what they are. Now, if you don't like onions, you can get them without onions. But the regular way is they're little patties. And these are a staple from where I'm from. So what they do is they have these little holes here that the steam goes through. And these are little patties. And they have these little onions on. Red Pop is just cream soda. And the little steam goes through the little holes here. And they put the little onions on. And um, yeah, they've got a pickle or two, depending. And it's a pickle cheese if you want. And it's the little burger. And like I said, there's other options. Chicken rings. And then they steam the little buns. And they're just like little little burgers they're called sliders and like i said if you don't have them um they have them in the frozer freezer section these are from actual white castle and they come in these little things all right so here's the little onion pieces again you can get them with without onions with or without cheese they have chicken rings they have a little bit of everything i think so too raccoon man the frozen ones are good don't get me wrong. But if you don't have White Castle, the frozen ones give you the full experience. All right, y'all. Let's do it. There's a pickle. Mm. Good night, Whiplash. So a lot of people call them sliders because with the, you know, you know, the onions, some people's, you know, White Castles are really cheap. That's why I like them. As Amanda Don said, they have a thing called a Crave case. It's like a briefcase of little burgers. Yes. Thank you, lovely. The frozen ones don't have pickles, but, um, oh yeah, little Aussie. Yeah. You definitely want to get a couple of them. They have great coupons. Uh, yes, so they're also, like Kelly said, there can also be crystals in some states. So, they don't have, um, I think doesn't crystal come with mayonnaise, or excuse me, mustard. When I lived in Atlanta, I remember they were crystal. Alright, so let's move on. They're absolutely historic little burgers. They're fantastic. I really like them. See, we don't have for a burger and stuff like that. I've always wanted to try that. They're just a great little burger, but like I said, you do want a couple of them to get full. So, all right, let's hear uh, Baby Rage for a second. You know what I find really strange? It's it's very weird to me. Now, I know that Chantal likes food, period. But it's very strange. Now that we've met Natter, she, she's got to go to all these exotic places. It's like, and I'm just drinking water. I just got a water. Um... It's, it's like, she's like, oh, I look at what I got. It's weird. It's like now whoever she's with, she's got to eat the food they eat. Now, again, I like to try exotic things, different things. You guys know that. But I just find it strange that um, 
you know, now we're, we're like, she went to an Arabic place. So, um, we're going to watch a little bit of this and we're going to go into the next one because it's got some vile things in it as well. Very well. And Zachary Michael has 100,000 subscribers for a reason. He has a personality. That person's personality of prison bread. Actually, I used to think that. He has more of a personality, engaging personality than Monty. Absolutely. Monty going to court like he's a TMZ reporter. I would have been in that mode to catch the events. <laughs> wow, let me say this right quick. Who wants to say that if Monty goes to Gatineau or wherever this court thing is, she's going to be the first person watching. And bet your asparagus, she would love to be a fly on the wall too if she doesn't get called in as a witness. Now, she talks about me today. And <laughs> she's very despectful, as Amberlynn would say. She's very despectful. For somebody that doesn't want to talk about it and has no opinion, she sure has an opinion on it. KK's Corner, welcome. Chantal, I would really stop talking about this if I was you. Because you're going to end up, you made a alibi for him. So you're pro. you never know what, you never know if you could get cold in here. So let's continue. Let, let's hear what she has to say and then we'll move on to the second one. Hey, Jared, wear jeans with long socks, wives. You're the last person that needs to talk about <laughs> style, pumpkin. Anyways. Some people need to be brought back down to reality. <laughs> like me, but I'm not here like making fun of people. Like, Unless I'm defending myself. And being like, excuse me, have a mirror. That's the only time I'll make fun of other people. Like, I don't, and I'm not saying it's right, but fuck whatever. At this point, I don't even give a shit. I'll worry about my karma later. Add it to my tab. That's my fucking, that'll be on my tombstone. Add it to my tab. Has anybody ever seen anybody that literally says I'm full and just look, her cheeks are full of food and she's still shoving it in, y'all. She's full, but yeah, right, Val? She really needs to, uh, Chantal, you've had that dress on for like three days, bud. Keep people straight up believe that. I'm not going to cry about it, but... <laughs> It's like, honestly, it doesn't really bug me anymore. I'm used to it, but the only thing that bugs me, like I said, is like, it's weirdly hypocritical, that's all. <clears throat> it's attention-seeking that you claim, you crave. <laughs> it's weird and hypocritical and attention-seeking. Weird and hypocritical and attention-seeking. Do I need to even say any more? So you're talking about... I'm going to be real honest with you. And I'm not saying because I like Monty. I'm not saying this. I think Monty is very respectful. I think it's weird. One minute you're like, ooh, Monty looks hot in that wife beater. The next you're like, oh, your Harry Potter glasses. You are a flip-floppity big... Excuse me, Big Mama, welcome. You talk about Two-Face and flip-floppity. You were just talking shit about Gary the other night. And now that Natter won't talk to you, you were in Gary's live stream trying to be all cool. And then she even says, that, yeah, I support Gary now. Dude, you are the most flip-flop, two-faced, other than Trisha Paytas on here I've seen. 
But tell us, tell us more, Chantal. Monty is very respectful, no more Nashies. Very respectful. Like, that's the thing. You criticize me about things that you do. Like, what does Monty do? Doing that. What What does Monty do? Does he sit here, shove his face, talk about his junk smells like a tuna can and a barracuda and cottage cheese? What does Monty do that's hypocritical? Answer me that, Chantal. What does Monty do that's hypocritical? What? I've never heard him say that he doesn't use toilet paper. He doesn't come in here dirty. What what does Monty do that's hypocritical? What what is that? Let me know. I don't base my opinions on others. I know you're a good person with a big heart. Thank you, Jude. You know me. People are just judging me off the shit show I'm living now. Which like, is it really that bad? I feel uh -huh. like I'm doing it. I'm going in the right direction. You are totally, look, um, I think she's totally going in the right direction, and I love that for her. She is just glowing up, y'all. Life is doing great, y'all. She's losing tons of weight. I think she's doing great. I love this for her, you guys. I really do. I think that, you know, shit's really looking up. I don't understand why people get up in arms. The reason there's any conflict is because people don't understand each other. People talk over each other. They don't try to understand each other. They want to just be right. People don't have discussions. They want to just win whatever. They want to seem better than... And I notice on YouTube, that's all it is. It's just image. <clears throat> like, even with Nader, reaching out to him, being kind, and he repays me by fucking exposing all our messages. Yeah, I did that because you continually lie to me. You leave me no choice. You don't leave me a choice. I have to prove myself. I've proven myself with proof. You've done none of that. I yeah. haven't shown anything. No receipts, nothing. Because you know I'm not lying. And instead of just admitting it and trying to be a better person, you blame me and abuse me verbally and say shit that's not true. Like, I'm done with people like this in my fucking life. What's I, I not true? Irish, welcome, love. God. I really don't. I'm full. I'm going to this for later. Maybe have one more potato. These potatoes are good. Are these Parisian potatoes? It's all about the money. Hey, when the, like, you ordered the shit. I, I love that for her. Well, guys, I want to show you, like... Well, guys, did, um... Do you guys know if these have onions on? Are these White Castles I'm eating, guys? You ordered the shit. Do you not know what you ordered? We love that for you. So... I still want to know, excuse me, what is hypocritical? What does Monty and everybody else, have I not came on here and told you guys when I got comfortable, and thanks to just saying, for kind of giving me a little nudge, do you think that I care about what people think of me? Nobody knew my house was a shithole till I told him. Nobody knew I was a recovering addict till I told him and hinted around about it. Some of us don't care. What did I tell you about this channel? I started this channel to show that I'm not perfect, that people are not perfect, that I'm a struggling person. I don't have a background with everything just excited and perfect and shit's falling apart. And that's the people you watch. Your little Mark Waynes, people like that, that make their wife carry around a baby in a hot ass jungle. That's the people you watch. Now, I will say, you said the other night, there are some people that you do watch that I do watch too. But you're the one watching these cookie cutter influencers. I don't watch that shit. I don't watch that shit. There's only a few big channels that I watch and I love them because I like to watch when I can't afford some of the makeup that I want to try, that they review it. 
but I don't watch these cookie cutter ass. Oh, everything's white and I've got a white couch and white doilies and a white vase back here and you know, every everything's perfect. My husband's gonna go pull, you know, my 2023 Denali in the garage, guys. I'll be back. I went and got my veneers fixed today. Got a little Botox up here, a little Yeah, I would love to have that shit, but I wanted to be transparent. Natter is live. I'm doing fine. Should we take a gandy? Do we want to take a quick gandy? Is this the first time he's been back since the cab ride? Man, ain't nothing like a good bowl of cereal at nighttime. Cereal is always a great staple. Take a little quick gandy. Check the vibe. We can just check. It's up to you guys. I, You know I can only do natter in small doses. So y'all should already know that. Yeah, if we take a gandy, you know a gandy for us is like five minutes. Yeah. Okay, let's take a quick gandy. Yeah, and, and welcome, welcome, Shepondu. You guys know that I can only do natter through Gary or small doses. Unless I'm with y'all, I might take a peek, but I can only do him in small doses. So, Gary's over there doing the Lord's work with Natter. Aaron, welcome. Okay, let's take a gandy because, listen. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me get rid of some of this stuff out of our area. Yeah, let's take a gandy because maybe, um, word is blonde. It's, I showed y'all a while back. It's the, um... Watermelon lip balm, Kylie Skin. Again, I'm not big fans of the car trashies, but um, I got this a dill. It was like a whole pack of them. Yeah, and see, that's the thing, Mink. It's like, you know, I, I do want a nice place. Don't get me wrong. I, I do want a nice... I know I might make a cup of... um. I, I was down there and I was like, do I make another cup of coffee? Um, I will say this lip gloss is good. I, I, hold on, y'all, I'm knocking flowers off. I, look at me, I, I'm like, do I need another cup of coffee? I will say this is good, and I got a deal on this. Um, I do want to get up out of here and get myself out of debt and, you know, better my life. I do, and I, you know, I know that I'm getting older, and, you know, I wish that I would have done the right thing with my money when I was dancing, but I was young, and, you know, I, I unfortunately didn't do the right things with it. And I didn't spend it on substances, but I had cars, shoes, clothes, back. Okay, I'm doing fine, guys. Just rested today. Look at this sex kitten on the couch. Hey, ladies, send me your PayPal. I'll show you a picture. Or let me let me stop before I get myself shit canned. He's just I will say this, and again, I don't wish and be cool in the chat. Be cool in the chat. I think this and I want to make this clear. I don't have any inside connections. I'm just the east side connection. Just joking. Oh, unicorn, nobody wants to see this old washed up fupa. Hell, I don't want to see this old washed up fupa. <laughs> Excuse me, ours is a muffin top. I apologize. Don't nobody want to see this washed up muffin top. Honey, them little young things out there would run circles around me again. I'd probably have arthritis in the toe if I danced anymore. Okay, so here we go. Um, I feel like something's going to happen. I don't know what, and keep it smooth in the chat. Um, oh, left, that's not an option. My mom is, she struggles with her own demons, so we are like oil and water. Plus, I got the Wubbles, her dogs and my dogs, and um, yeah, not an option. I wish it was, <clears throat> but um, not an option. I, I would live in Tiny before... Um, Guys, I left my mom's at 17. My mom has her own things. Well, come on, Natter, are we allowed or not? Um, <coughs> this is going to be fun already. Get your spittoons. 
sorry, that was disgusting, sorry. What are you talking about already? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You're talking. I said, what are you talking about already? He said, blah, blah, blah. You're right about that. Gabriel's in the chat. Hi there. Hi I'm going to be there. honest. I'm going to ask you guys a quick Chilean welcome. Chilean, I said it earlier, I was like, yo, Chilean is not the lady in the car. I remember seeing her pictures, and those are the pictures I, yo, Chilean is a hot little stallion. And I'm going to keep it 100. Chilean is a hot little stallion. I'm going to be real. Okay, so I want to ask you guys a quick question. Honest, this, this always crosses my mind. I've asked a friend this. Please cancel me if we ever get to this point. I don't understand, y'all. These damn flower pods are... I have to pick them. What? What? I, I don't understand it. Mrs. Moon Goose, how are you doing? I don't understand it. What this dude just goes on, and, and I know we go on and on for hours. I'm not saying that, but there's no interaction sometimes. There is no interaction. There's none. It, it's literally like I said and watch it sometimes for notes or if there's something going on, and it's like. Oh, that's good, Mrs. Moon Goose. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Yes. Dee Dee, what did they say? If we ever get to that point, you tell me. Get out these damn rock kits or something. This is why I buy things like this. Because when the gets going gets slow... We at least got something. I'd rather dig for rocks. These kind of rocks if you catch my drift. All right, let's do it. I don't know what we're in for. It's looking like the same old shiz naive, but here we go. Um, I, I, I don't understand it. it it's, 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 you know what it is? Let's tell you this. It's literally like Chantal's chat. The people talk to themselves. It, it, I just thought of that. It literally mirrors Wicked Welcome. It literally mirrors Chantal's chat. The people talk to themselves. Hey, Sally Joe, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I just talked to my husband. Oh, he's doing good. It, it, it mirrors Chantal's chat. I just figured this out. They entertain themselves. They really do. There's no... You know, I get that when we get caught, you know, I'm like, hold on, guys, you know, let me look at this. Or, But he, he, there's nothing. There's nothing. Look at this. Like, he's not making any eye contact. Like, what? I, I don't know. Is he just, like, waiting for super chats to be? Like, I, I don't understand it. Gary is over there doing the the Lord's work, y'all. Cause it, I don't have it in me. Everything will be alright. Everything is gonna be alright, y'all. I don't know how to say it in English, but who da at walan muftahkamat halakatiha. Beto can translate. Yeah, Beto. Who da at walan muftahkamat halakatiha. Don't leave, guys. We're just gonna take a gander. We're just gonna. We're going to take a gander because we're wonder was Sean Tall go live knowing that he's live. So yeah, we're don't leave me. We're we're in this together. What do you got? One could tell again. Like get it tight and when the, the chin latches on. Latches on. One day with the. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> Life is 
not only flowers. No, it's not always sunshines and roses. Shannon, I'm not sure about your background matter, but... I'm Egyptian. No, meaning can you go to back to Egypt in case your mother gets sick or... I can go, but I need to make paperwork to go and come back, and I don't think this this river will, will take me a long time. So, like kind I can, but actually I can't. Father Onion, will you be cooking tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, Father Onion. Or I guess later on today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's already today. Alyssa, Shani, you and your fiancé are cute together? Who's your fiancé, Alyssa? Jessica Miska. Oh. <laughs> Is what you mean? There you go, Alyssa. Is that what you mean? When I was killed in last stream. Remember? Yeah. But I don't say my fiancé, I say my girlfriend. Oh, that's nice, Garlic. Garlic is telling Mermaid that uh, he says my mother was on peritoneal dialysis for a very long garlic. time. Garlic? Let's look at the chat. Is garlic bread over there? What the hell is going on? Is garlic bread over there? Hold on, y'all. Let's look at the chat right quick. Do, do, do. We're, we're about to get out of here. Don't worry. We're, we're about to get out of here. Don't you worry. <laughs> Alicia, Alyssa El Shammy. Harry, welcome. Alyssa El Shami is over there as a member. That's great. Chantal's going to love that. I don't want to see him. And thankfully, she got her kid. Yeah. Daria Monica, go to bed, have your apples, and <laughs> rest, guys. I will. And this cook one us I will. some tongue. This and one he will. I swear I need to get a new tongue. Okay, I've, I've had, had enough. What do you guys today. think? Garlic is over there? Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I've had enough. What do you guys think? I, I can't. He, he's picking his fingers. He's picking his cues. All right, let's go see if Foodle, Foodle's watch, Foodle's is probably watching this shit. She's like, shit and me. I will love to watch him pick his cuticles. Mm-mm. Okay, so let's see here. Hold on a second. Well, that's sad that people. Well, that's sad. Well, that's sad. Compromise their morals and integrity. That's yeah. sad. Okay, yeah, this is way better than that. That is sad, you guys, that people compromise their morals for some coin told y'all this literally is excuse me this whole video is great everything that she is saying literally what what is Monty since he's the top this is called spending $60 on Uber Eats so Minty can complain yes Saint he wears a schmedium 
So, I still know she's not live. We just wanted to take a gander. Um, so, it's sad, guys, that people, you know, compromise their integrity, integrity, integrity and morals to get some coin. I'll be damned. I'll be damned, y'all. All right, let's continue. This is the same video. We're picking up where we left off. We're at 35 minutes and 6 seconds. Here we go. Okay, literally. We're going to watch a little bit of this one, and then we're going to watch a little bit of the second one. And then we will be caught up unless she pops up. Literally come on here and act like myself. Like, I don't do anything. Really, I don't do anything calculated. Like, yeah, I'll say, oh, I'll do it for money. But honestly, I could probably do, like, if I really wanted to be, like, a normal YouTuber, I would, I'm not very clickbaity. Like, I just, I'm very reactive. I say what's on my brain. I don't, I don't, like, plan shit. You know that I don't. First off, I love how Sean Toll thinks, like, you don't have, like, so you just said earlier, you just said earlier that, you know, I let you guys run with it. That's how I make money. So, she did, like, that clickbait shit. That was when YouTube, can be goodnight, love. That was when YouTube first started. Only certain channels can pull that clickbait shit off. Right, Vega? Or, excuse me, Justice, I'm telling you, this whole thing tonight is interesting. Muffin top back blue. Nisi, Nisi, good night, love. Um, only certain channels have that clickbaitiness that they can roll with that. Only certain channels can pull that. You know, like the prank channels. Awesome, G. Um, no new tea on the court. I, Not that I heard, unless we missed it in that. But whew, I'll wait for somebody else to cover that shit. Right, Minka? And welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Chilling. Welcome, everybody. Just laying back in the cut. Only certain channels have that clickbait power. The prank ones, certain the big ones, but that shit really like I don't I don't click that. And to be honest, I was gonna do a video. I've got it on my list. Remember that channel that we found that was like, oh, so and so died, and so and so died. That shit is foul. Those channels. He said, I think he said he goes back August fourth. He goes back. Okay, interesting. I don't, yeah, exactly, nurse him. I don't do the clickbaity. If it seems too far-fetched, like I said, I don't watch a bunch of big channels anyways, but a lot of that shit was back in the early 2000s when YouTube first started. The prank channels and stuff could pull that off. Yeah, there was like Moesha Past and the Gorilla Girl. Like, though that, chan that shit needs to be shut down, in my opinion. When channels literally are making money off of saying that somebody's dead and they're not, that shit needs to be axed. Because A, that's foul. You're getting people that like them all. Remember one night I was like, oh my gosh, so-and-so died. Remember we clicked it. But, you know, some clickbait's okay. But I think the one that there's one channel I've specifically seen and they do where celebrities pass. And not one person on there has passed. Now that shit, you are making money off of lies. You need to be axed, in my opinion. It's She doesn't get, like, she's stuck in, like, the beginning of YouTube. Just like the fart thing, she wanted to get the fart machine. She's trying to pull shit that, yeah, Nikado does that stinking clickbait shit. And some of it's disgusting. The hell stuff, the heart attack and stuff, that's disgusting. But she's, like, trying to pull things that, like, when YouTube first started. A lot of those prank channels have died down. A lot of those prank channels, in my opinion, you know, they're a group of kids that play pranks. They can do that because they're younger teenagers. But that shit's, I'm going to tell you right now, if, and I'm just going to say, I got to watch how I word this. If I find somebody, and you know who I'm saying, if somebody comes up next to me and invades my space in a store, how are you doing? 
you're going to see how you're doing if you catch my drift. I've seen some of those prank channels get, if you catch my drift. So if you come up to me, and even if you're pretending to pass gas, it's not going to end how you think it's, if you catch my drift. So she doesn't understand that us out here, especially in what's going on with the world still, I don't want no creepy crawlers, bed bugs, nothing. Stay the f away from me. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you invade my personal space in a store, your little prank, it's, it's probably going to go viral. But uh, it's not going to go viral the way you think it is. People do not like that. You got what's going still in the world. Stay away from me. So, it'll probably go viral, but not on your behalf. Our Lady Chantal Perpetual Poutine, how are you doing? Oh, goodness. What is your beautiful thumbnail picture? Is that a thumb smoking a cigarette? I'm confused. Hold on. Y'all, what is Our Lady Chantal Perpetual Poutine got on this week? Yeah. We are not exactly justice. It is not the prank time. I think a lot of those channels, in my opinion, have died off. Like I said, some, you know, group of kids, 17, 18, 19, pranking each other. Hee hee, ha ha. But you go around people's personal space. And uh, like I said, your video might go viral, but not the way you think it's going to go viral. It's an ugly dog morphed with it. Oh, or something else. Um, so anyway, so what she's trying to do, in my opinion, that whole prank genre, that shit's floated on by. I know most of you guys probably see this, but YouTube has different trends. The mukbang shit's died off. Lunarous goodnight, love. Um, the mukbang things have died off. Hell, the beauty communities kind of went down the tubes. You know, it's it's... It, it gets little trends. That ASMR shit, remember that was cracking? You know, some people still like it. But it, it gets little trends that, you know, people move on to the next one. And she doesn't understand that. See, she should because she caught the mukbang trend. And then she's talking about, come at me when you got another thousand or 90K. Somebody come at me then. Dude, you... Or getting like 20, 26K a video. 60% of your subscribers are still probably subscribed from the mukbangs. And then she says, do people really buy subscribers? Is that really a thing? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Or some like, but she thinks she can just jump on a trend. And because some people... You know, even some things are trendy. Some people keep their core audience. The people stay for them. They don't stay for the trend. You know what I mean? They get to know the people. They like the people. And they're like, okay, you know, I'm staying for you. But she thinks that you can just hop on a trend and, you know, you're good to go. You're just good to go because you've, uh, you've hopped on that trend. She's like, can you really buy subscribers? I'm like, dude, knock it off. She's like, that's against terms of service. Dude, 70% of the shit you do in here half the time is terms of service. Exactly, Iron. It's the connection. She doesn't understand. You know, she's like, well, people come and go. Well, Chantal, people are going to continue to come and go, but only so many people are going to deal with seriousness with you. And I, I love this new group of people. Sorry, sorry. One more thing. This new group of people is... They're like, you're just doing great. And you're doing awesome. And it's the weight loss. And it's like, this is... I think she's got about 10 people. Stacy, welcome. She's got about 10 people over there that are new. That they are just like... Yes, my queen. That girl, Tiff, just worships the ground poodles walks on. Make it make sense. Oh, not again. But there's a couple over there that I've been watching that they just think she is the hand. Somebody says tonight, 
on the second video. This is the best community on YouTube. So getting cussed out, giving her money, and I'm going to say these again are only my opinions. It's really scary that people think she cares. It is tremendously scary. Look at you not again with the asparagus. Yeah, there's a couple. Now I know there's, you know, I know there's, you know, the trolls. But there's a couple that are like, this is the best community in YouTube. People have lost their ever-living asparaguses. If they think, and again, these are only my opinions before you get, no, there's some unicorn that are serious. There's like a new little group over there that just thinks she is the bee's knees. Scary. She's actually talking about crying and needing pee. Hold on. Right? S uh, SLH welcome of. She's actually talking about crying to the people and needing a hotel and money because they have no power and people bought into it, sending her money and all why she was lying and bringing her money. And allegedly that night, just call me bear welcome love. Allegedly that night, people were saying that she ended up leaving and went to Natter and Didi's that night, allegedly. So she wasn't even allegedly at home with Beats and the Cats that night. Remember, that was a stream she got on the next day and she's like, Hi guys. And people are like, yo, have you even slept yet? Exactly, little Aussie. She's like, I got 90. Dude, you've been clocking. I think your highest viewed video I've seen was almost 30K. Where's the other 60K at? Now, yes, I'm a small channel. I know that. Exactly. That's the thing, Stacy. She's like, well, new beezers will come and, you know, they'll pay me. I don't need your four ninety nine. Okay. People need to wake up and hear that. And I see some of your people. I'm not going to mention this person's name because they're on my block list and they drive me batshit crazy. But I see some of your people lurking around that you wouldn't even suspect. Some of your best beezers are in other people's chats. Um, oh, you're on my side? Okay, sorry to yell. Just like that. Beezer Beauty. This lady loves Chantal. And she ripped her a new one. Chantal got her fupa all in knots and all in a bunch. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, you're on my side. Why don't you pay attention? You're quick so to block somebody and so quick to ditch them. And here you just, you, I would have been like deuces. And of course the lady's like, oh, it's okay, Chantal. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. This lady, Beezer Beauty, loves her. And look, Chantal's like, oh, look, look at the look on her face. Chantal, your rap face is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Listen, she's like, oh, I I'm sorry, you're on my side. No, I think I understand your frustration. I really do. I've never been anything but supportive. Okay, sorry, Ageless Beauty. I really apologize. Oh, Ageless I Beauty. Sure. Like, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't. I don't know who to trust anymore. Oh, you're and so... Like, oh, loyalty from people online. Well, in a community I'm so intimate with, like, my Beezers, it's different. Like, I try not to delete comments anymore. Sometimes I do. Dude, this Beezer shit is old as shit. Put a fork in me like that potato. Chantal, you are 38 years old. The Beezer shit is played out, dude. It's played out. Really nasty people, but I'm a moody today. You're moody every day, dude. Yeah, you can't trust people on my. They all <laughs> you... have a motive. They all got a motive, guys. Well, can't trust people. them. Not everybody. Well, a lot of people, the most successful people, stay out of drama. Have you ever noticed that? Really, I wonder why. Because after a while, it just gets tiring, and like. There's the reaction channel community is all in cahoots with one another. Really? So there's this whole system of fucking glorified bullies on YouTube picking apart every single thing I do. It, I think it's even worse with me now than it is with Amberlynn. But regardless, honestly, whatever. Like I said, people talk about me, it keeps me relevant. However, oh wait, I'm still gonna point out. I thought it made us relevant. You know what I mean? You're confusing. 
I'm part of the system, but I'm allowed to talk about it. Like this is my job, this is my livelihood, and it's something that affects me on a daily basis. Yeah, I keep my circle small on purpose. Not because I don't have friends. <coughs> Times are hard out here for a pimp, y'all. She's got to keep her circle small. That's comedy how people can dish it out all day long. And as soon as she's off the back, people want to cry or say, why are you moody? Who is, for the 15th number time, who is crying or can't handle Chantal dish it out? Who? Who? Somebody tell me who, who has ever cried or Chantal has tried to roast them. Who, who, let me know. Who, Chantal, name somebody, anybody, name somebody. You called me something about raspy voice driving down the road. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I took and ran with it. Yes, my voice is raspy. It's been since I was a kid. But did I come on here? Oh, God. <laughs> Chantal said my voice was raspy. I can't go to sleep. <laughs> no nonsense. Welcome. <laughs> you guys, Chantal said my voice was... I can't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to voice school because I can't take it. <laughs> I'm turning my channel down, y'all. She said my voice was raspy. <laughs> Not one person I've seen. Also, I'm the in news right now. I oh, she is the in news, you guys. Her ego is bigger than ever. No pun intended. She said, look at that. That is a face only a Funkle could love. Look at that. Look at that. Mary, welcome. Look at that beautiful morning footage. Look at that. Look at that. I think it'll be old news if I keep spinning my wheels and never move on with my life. <laughs> I you know. think we're getting there, bud. You keep doing the same old shit. You're wearing me out. I might have to cry. Oh, my God, Tawny. Goodbye. That whole situation is not my business. Y'all, okay, here. I want to tell you that this is very despectful. Actually, let me not joke about this situation. If I was you, Chantal, I would stay far, far away out the May situation. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She is. You keep talking about this May situation, and you're probably going to lend your little ass up on a hot seat. But you keep talking. You just keep. Why would anybody? Listen. How many? God, don't want to. How many times yesterday did I say, guys, let's roll, tread lightly on this situation. I'm not the judge. I'm not the jury. I'm none of that. How many times did I say that? But listen, she cannot leave this May situation alone. She even, I think, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me. I didn't have a lot of notes because I got in late. I think she even talks about it in the second video. Oh, hold on, y'all. <laughs> My slippers were sliding. Y'all, I might have to make a cup of coffee for this shindig. Thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Welcome, everybody coming in. Welcome, everybody chilling. Okay. Thank you. Regardless of what happened with her and him, I don't fucking care. I don't want to know. I still think she's a crazy old bitch. There's nothing but fucking see you next two days. And... To me, I don't know. Like, what, Chantel? Well, what? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not even gonna give her any attention. Like, oh, you do. Well, you just did. I don't care if it's not nice. I think she's a crazy old friggin' biatch. That's how I feel about it. 
How is it my business? They had a meeting, unbeknownst to me, and I was lied to about where he was and what date was. So, and I, I mean, I don't really remember everything, like what I did that day. I had to consult a friend and try to piece together what happened. So, how is it my problem? You need to be behind bars. Fuck you. You need to be behind bars for making shit up. That's not even true. Not for the people accusing me of that shit. Hi, Father Sam. Can you imagine talking to people like that? Sorry, one more time. Sorry, sorry. Can you imagine? The sound is awful. We can't hear. Oh, no. <sighs> We're plugged up. Hold on, y'all. Everything's plugged up. Let me try. Can't hear. Hold on, y'all. Let me. I don't know what. It keeps cutting in and out. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try and see everything we're plugged up, everything's on. Let me, let's continue and see, and I'll read you guys and see how we're doing when it starts. Um, I really don't know, you guys, what, oh, I apologize. Lisa, welcome. Um, hold on, y'all, let's. Make sure your hands are clean. I got yeah. no wires crossed. No wires. You judge others. I want you for entertainment. What you do with your life is up to you. I want to my life at all. Normal people have this. Normal people are able to. Guys, I got no wires. Um, the speaker's cordless. The only thing plugged up is the computer. I I literally got. um. I, I got. I, I literally. There's no wires to cross. Um. Let's continue. Hopefully we can keep trucking. And if it gets worse, I don't know what to do, my friends. Chilean, welcome, love. Disengage a little bit, you know? I watch people. I have no attachment to them at all. I don't give a fuck what you the do. The only... Amber Nicole, thank you. The static only comes when you aren't talking. When you are talking, I don't hear any static. I think it's the camera picking up the white noise. The only thing, y'all, I got is an air conditioner on for the whoppies. You think it's the speaker? Should I try... Fishing, welcome. Should I try to kick the speaker off? I don't know. Listen. The only thing that is plugged up, literally... Hold on, I'll take the... It's the speaker. Okay. Um, okay, well, here's plan B for tomorrow. Here's plan B. We got the Yeti mic. We can try to roll the Yeti mic through the computer. It's the microphone on the phone. I don't know what to do, y'all. It's an interference type noise. Is the other phone off? Yeah, the uh, let me put this in the other room. Um, we can try to roll the Yeti mic. If not, we'll do our detectiveness and kind of break it down. We're not going to continue to have stuff. I mean, it, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. If I got to do the Yeti mic through... I don't know if the iMac is the phone. I don't know. Well, well Laura, welcome. Okay, well, here we go. We'll continue if it gets bad. Um, I can cut it off and then maybe troubleshoot tomorrow. Maybe we can do the Yeti mic with the, I don't know. We're, 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 we'll get, um, you need to start doing your live streams using StreamYard on iMac. That way you can share your screen and don't have any static. Oh, I need to figure out how to do that. All right. Well, either way, we're, let's, let's roll on for tonight. Unfortunately, if it sucks. Then we'll troubleshoot the next couple days. Maybe somebody can help me. FaceTime. We can roll. We're too close to the speaker. And perfection. Thank you. Okay, let me try to roll you guys back. Um, it's weird. I feel like we've never had... It's like we've been using this. Lisa, welcome, love. Nice. Thank you, Lisa. One of the reasons she is at hotel, Pete's is sick and tired of her BS too. Angelina, welcome. Rolly, welcome. I I think everybody's sick of her BS. It's always been staticky. Okay, well we can just troubleshoot down the line. Um 
We'll just troubleshoot down the line. If it gets too bad, we can cut it off. Let's troubleshoot. And then we got different types of equipment we can try to integrate. And if it's the Bluetooth speaker or the white noise from the AC, like Amber, it could be white. It, it could be the air conditioner. Um, I tell you what, it's freezing gonads in there. Let me try to turn the air off. Let's, let's roll it and I'll go do that and we'll see. We can kind of troubleshoot. And like I said, we've got other, we've got, if we got to roll the, I mean, I plan on hooking the Yeti mic up anyways. I didn't just get it just because. So, um, I have heard it on playback. Yeah, I was talking about it last night. I have heard it. I try to watch my videos to go over things, look at you guys' comments, I don't obviously set through them all, but I try to, um, bulldoggy mama, everybody is so busy. Um, I've, you know, everybody's so busy, you know, it, I, I've, Monty is just busy as a bee. I mean, he has helped me with things prior in the past, but, um, you know, it's kind of hard having somebody that's got a channel. Not, not that they don't want to, um, Okay, well, let me turn this air conditioner off, and let's kind of troubleshoot. We'll do that tonight, see how it goes. Then we'll bust our Yeti mic out, or we'll try... We'll, we'll kind of go down the line. So let's turn the air off, checklist that. Okay, Justice, that would be amazing. Okay, well, I got you guys pulled back. So you can see Chantal. And uh, let's turn the air off. And uh, let's, we'll, we'll trouble. So knock, check the air off, off the list. We'll turn that off. Thank goodness it's not super hot tonight. So check air off. Camera's off. Because quite frankly, I know what life is like. I will, time. Justice. I just don't think if you guys ever send me emails, I, I've got a lot popping with Grandma. Like, I, this is, shit, shit is Iron, it's not that hot tonight, and it's pretty cool in there, so the wobbles will be okay. But, yeah, don't think if you guys send me emails that I'm ignoring you. It's just been... It, it's summer. Grandma's like, yard, this, that. Her mower belt fell off. We're trying to order her belt. It's, it's just been a lot. But, okay, well, check air off the list. I'm going to go turn it off. And I'm not going to judge you. And, actually, I'm glad. I, I, I know it makes a difference. I don't rely on judging others for income. So sit on your dirty money and rotate. I can see you all day while I turn on this camera and on my fucking cell. Thank you. When I was a kid, I always wanted to make money, kissing my ass and fighting, and I'm doing it. So for me, this is success, okay? My idea of success might not be your idea of success, but it's my idea. So, I'm drinking cherry cot. Let's do that. Black cherry cot. <laughs> like, seriously, somebody who wants to be an astronaut. Are they going to go with somebody and stick this away, doing fucking back, backflips and go, why would you choose to do this with your life? Who gives a shit? Actually, I might have to. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> That's why I say stay mad, because people are obviously not. Like, really, really, really mad. Every time I go back to matter, as if it has any direct effect on me. At all. You, the same people who accuse me of uh, victim shaming me are the same people I see in comments saying, oh, she's a fucking piece of shit, she's psycho, she's a stalker. You don't think coming to another country 3,000 miles away, spending $3,000 in a shitty bag on a hotel to get food cooked for you, you're fucking desperate and you're making fun of me? Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> I don't get it. This, these are the things that don't make sense to me. Do that on time. Yeah, she spent a lot of money to come see Chef Al Shannon. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, the next day, actually, if I do testify, the next day, I see messages. messages. I knew you wouldn't call me. You just wanted to use me. This is not about your rejection of me. So somebody who did all that shit to you, you're going to message them angry the next day that they didn't call you? This is what makes me really not... I don't know. This is what makes me question you. I love this for her. I love this for her. I think that these two are a match made in heaven. Yeah, I gotta get... I need to get us together. Summer is just the busiest time, but I, I get intimidated too, I'm not gonna lie. I get... I'm not tech savvy, y'all, y'all. Tech savvy. See? Can't even say it right. So listen. Saint, welcome. Or quite possibly lucky. 
I think that's causing the static is the noise canceling off the mic. Okay, we're going to get her figured out because I already am the underdog and I don't want to give you guys any static, literally. So that we will get to and I will make sure we figure that out because I'm already the underdog out here. So I love her and Natter together. I think they are a beautiful couple. I think either her and Pete's or Natter, I think they're soulmates. Okay, so, let's bring it back here. Desperate. Desperate. Goes to Gatno, spends thousands of dollars for some food. Ponderous, good night, love. Thank you for being here. Yes, we can get it squared away, Justice. I got to... What the hell? I got to do something with Grandma tomorrow. I said, it'll probably be mid-evening my time. Yeah, it'll probably... I got to... What the hell do I got to do with Grandma? Something. Something. But it, it'll probably be mid-evening. So. Desperate. Spends thousands of dollars on food. Ring any bells? How about spends thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on rent? Desperate Gatno, you were paying allegedly for the apartment. And thousands on food. Your words, not mine. Because it only happens when Kaya's not talking. So it must be a noise-canceling feature of the mic that is trying to cut off Foodie Beauty. It picks up in the background. Okay, well, we got Yeti Mike. Either way, we're going to we'll, 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 we'll get what we got. If we got to get something else, we'll do it. If, if we got to, we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. We, I can't give you guys static. Like I said, we're already the underdog. So we'll get her figured out. We'll, we'll work on if I got to do like a test stream tomorrow and just kind of we'll play with some things. Justice can help me. And if we got to do like a test run, We'll get her squared away. Because I do not... I, I did hear it the other day when I was kind of looking through comments and just kind of... So we can, we can do a test run. And um, we'll work with what equipment. If we got to get something else, we'll get something... We'll, we'll get her squared away. Don't worry. And don't worry on the replay. We'll, I'm, I can't give you guys a bunch of static. So, underdog... Or excuse me. Thousands of food. Desperate. And Gatno. Ring any bells. Ring only bells. Ring only bells. Ring some bells to me. I think. Turn your phone. Your phone speaker should be fine. Turn off the exterior speaker. This our other one. Then you guys say you can't hear. I got the computer up as loud as it goes. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. It's getting late. Uh. Like I said, if we got to do a test stream, we'll, we'll get her squared away. Sorry, y'all. My lips are getting dry. So, I, in my opinion, and again, these are only my opinions, I do think there is a loan for the 50,000th time. And I do think, in my opinion, that you have given him way more money than any of us probably even dream of. Because you don't have anything to show for it. Yeah, those boxes, them boxes, half them boxes have been there since she moved in. People send her little odds and ends, hats and shit, but most of those boxes have been there since last year. So, you're not, I mean, she orders stuff, but not, shit, I get more stuff than she gets, and I'm not saying that as a brag or a boast, I'm just saying as far as packaging goes. Lady Lithium, welcome. There's, there's, you guys see, we are always hoeing something. So, you know, we see her get little shit here and there, but nothing of, you know, nothing of substance. Like, hey, you know, I'm always drop. Like, I'm going to drop a haul. We got these pool lights to review. We got tons of shit coming up. So... What do you have exactly, Art Girl? It's like, she literally has nothing to show. Yeah, I'm KK's Corner. I'm talking about the new set of boxes, though. 
I haven't seen her really bring anything big into the house. I, Kelly, you don't feel good. I hope you feel better, love. Yeah, I, I really don't see her. Is there a bird in here? Welcome. I, I don't really see her bringing, like, you know, she gets a little lip gloss or something. Have a sue, Mom. Welcome. She'll get a little lip gloss or something at the pharmacy or lipstick or, you know, but I'm talking substantial shit to equal thousands of dollars. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing to show. She got that new palette. Like, she doesn't buy makeup. She doesn't buy really clothes too much. There's not really much to show. So, where's all this money going? And, I mean, think about it. She doesn't have a new car. She doesn't have any, you know, big new pieces of furniture. Exactly. She doesn't have any designer bags. What is, where, if she got a loan, where did all this go? Do you know what I think? I don't know if I've told you this, but this is all alleged again. I think, Brandy, welcome love. I think that she might have gotten that loan to maybe when apartment situation type deal was getting spoke of. You never know. Or did she get the loan... When she lost the channel, yeah, is there a bird? Something. So the money's going somewhere. And it's not going in stuff that we see. So, did she get the loan, A, that when she lost the channel? B, did she get the loan for the apartment arc that maybe they were going to get? The money went somewhere. And it's not in stuff. I mean, she buys little trinkets here and there, but nothing substantial to getting a loan. Nothing substantial of loan money. So, I, I think that she's allegedly, in my opinion, given him way more money than she accounts for. I, I think there's way more money. So, okay, we're going to watch a little bit of this one. This one's way better than the second one. Um, so, we got the air conditioner turned off. We'll see how that goes. Let me move the other phone out of here. We'll see how that goes. It's off. Um, so, that's why I'm staying the fuck out of it. Well, it seems like it, you're not staying out of it. We don't know Mimi Pondu. We're not going to know. We don't know what happened in that hotel room. So that's why I cannot speak on it. You just, Nobody knows, but the messages I... You just spoke on it. Anybody else find this contradictory? Or excuse me, contradictory. <laughs> it's getting late, y'all. You just spoke on it. You literally, Linda, welcome. You just spoke on it. Thank you, Truth. You just spoke on it, Chantal. What do you mean you're not going to speak on it? You literally just... Because he was all worried about it in bed talking about it. He's like, you know, I told you this American was coming to see me. She wanted to try my food. She was staying at a hotel. So he showed me the messages, blah, blah, blah. And, um... She don't want to... Yeah, right. I... She don't want to talk about it, but let's continue to talk about it. What else? What else? Yeah. And then I'm like, let me see your messages. Because I was like, you never told me. I'm like, let me see the messages. Because he doesn't understand English very well. So I read the messages and uh, I didn't see anything sexual in the messages at all. Um, and then I'm not saying, I don't know what happened. I can't say. I'm not saying what happened. I cannot. I'm just saying what I saw with my own eyes. So if I did get called to the stand, I would objectively say what I saw. And that's what I saw. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Of course, no one deserves that in here. No matter what color you are, no matter what you look like, no matter how old you are, absolutely not. But I'm just saying, looking at it objectively, like, for me, somebody, I don't know, just the way she's acting, like, what people thought about me, not acting like a typical, but I went, it's a different situation. Like, there's people, I don't know. What do you, what? It, it, it's different situation. Okay, listen. Chantal is the friend or the girlfriend that you do not want. First off, why are you even talking about it? You are the friend that... Second off, what are you talking about? It's different. Because you admitted to lying, exaggerating the truth. Because you wanted, vindic you wanted to be vindictive. You you're not making any sense, dude. First off, you're sitting here... Anything and can be and will be 
held against you. Do you know that saying? Because I do. Uh, truth, yeah, see, here's where we're at, guys. I got the speaker about, uh, about a hand length from it, and then I got the air conditioner off. Seem to make a little bit of difference. Um, Shanto, do you know the saying anything like, dude, you literally are the friend that, man, don't do anything around Shanto at all. It didn't make it better. All right, well, we'll, we'll get it squared away. We'll, we'll do a test run tomorrow, maybe like a test stream or something. We'll, we'll get her, we'll, we'll problem solve it out. Yeah. Lolo, the crown will take your case if you, like, if you don't want to drop the charges, you really will take the case. Thankfully, I've already told the crown you're not going to Yeah, but are we just going to take my word on it? I don't even know if I said clinically insane. I didn't say clinically insane. No, I didn't say before. So maybe know your thoughts before you talk. Actually, I said... And I was very mentally unstable. But yes, I did lie. I lied to protect him. Is that better? I, I tried to move the so, speaker I did it, away. Yes. I did it, and I won't own it. <clears throat> You should stay completely out of this mess. But I have a way from him. I can say whatever the fuck I want. She can come on here and talk and shit talk me and be like, okay. Hey, do this. So maybe it is the speaker. I got the speaker. I put it sideways and away. All right. Well, we shall continue. Not allowed to have no. an opinion on it? Sorry. All right. Well, we'll, we'll troubleshoot. We'll troubleshoot. Sue me. I will say what I want. I have a right to freedom of speech here. Thank you. Just like everyone else. I'm, I want it on the game now. I want it on the game. I see people talking, I can talk to you. What do you mean, you... Dude, you are... What do you mean you want in on the game? Are you... This is somebody accusing him of a serious, serious, serious crime. And you want in on the game. Do you hear the shit that comes out of your mouth? And then you wonder why somebody told her, it's not fair. I don't understand why you, you, um, I don't know, not again. She came up with a bunky ass alibi when this first went down. And now she's kind of, now she don't want nothing to do with it. And, um... You wonder why you pick up so much traction on here. And when you look up Foodie Beauty, why all this shit pops off? You wonder, people are like, I don't understand why you get... Did you just... I want in on part of the game. She admitted to lying for him about this. She lies about everything at this point. So, I mean... Here's, what do you mean you want in on the game? What game? What What do you, do you think that, what are you talking about? Hold on, I'll, let's run this back a little bit. If you don't want to drop the charges, usually they'll take your case. Thankfully, I've already told the crowd. Yeah, but are they just going to take my word on I, I don't even know if I said something insane. I didn't say clinically insane. No, I didn't say before. So maybe know your facts before you talk. Okay, well, know your facts before you talk. Do you think that they don't, or not, well, let's discuss this right quick. Sorry, but she's got me on a roll here. Do you think that if you commit a crime, that you're just going to stroll in there and I'm clinically insane? You don't think that they're going to set you down with a psychiatrist that has been in psychiatry forever... You think they're just going to take your word for it. You don't think that they're going to test you and play games with you. I watched a thing. It was a true crime thing. And it was a court thing, right? And the guy said that he couldn't walk. Everybody said he was the one that stole the car, stole the car, and he was in a wheelchair in court. And they slammed a book or they like went and scared. Oh, they had a mask on and scared him. Look it up. And dude jumped and ran across the courtroom. Do you really think that you're going to stroll in 
to somebody's courtroom and I'll him clinically and say, okay, just check her off the list. She's good to go. Chantal, you might think you're smart, but there's always somebody ahead of the game. This is their job. This is what they do. Do you think that you can outsmart these people and they're just going to, here comes this big old girl and her little designer bag and her dress that's 10 times too small. Leonda, welcome. And you think that they're just, oh, she's going to outsmart us. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Chantal. <laughs> exactly, love. Chantal, you watch way too many movies. Yes, this is the spending $60 on Uber Eats so Minty can complain. And I love how you got Monty's alias in the thumbnail, Chantal. We love that for you. We love that for you. Okay, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Trying to keep everything pushed back. That way we can kind of exactly fit and curvy. She just thinks she is smart. Chantal, you've been watching too many movies, like Lovely just said. I said, and I was very mentally unstable. But yes, I did lie. I lied to protect him because I loved him. Oh, she lied, Joe. Yes, yes, I did it and I won't lie. <laughs> she lied. She admits it, guys. <clears throat> you should stay completely out of this mess. But I have a right to I can say whatever the fuck I want. She can come on here and talk and sh shit talk me and be like, they both going to do this to me and I'm not allowed to have anything with it? Sorry. Sue me. I will say what I want. I have a right to sue me. Some Thank somebody you. might end up suing you one day. Somebody just might. Be careful what you wish for. Just like everyone else. I'm, I want in on the game now. I want in on the game. I see people talking, I can talk to you. I won't be talking about that anymore. I don't want, I don't want to discuss what happened every night with me. And I have a right to do that. So, think what you want. Whatever happened, I know. And that's all that matters. I don't have to explain myself to random people on the internet. I shouldn't have opened my mouth in the first place, but whatever. Here we are. <clears throat> I'm drinking black cherry pop. The two people are accusing one person of coming after me. I don't know. A plus B doesn't always equal C, right? Okay? So. The crown is the pro. Yeah. Let's just let it take care of the situation. Okay? I'm staying out of it. I'm not giving any attention. Because if that's what this person wants, by continuing doing video, we'll be like, I'm not giving up. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's like a bit of attention seeking, but that's just my opinion. <sighs> oh, goodbye, Christy. Fuck off. Oh, shit. You act like you were in our bed together. Deal with it. Like, people are so fucking stupid. You come up with no profile picture thinking no man ever wanted you? Yeah, this man told me he loved me several fucking times. She had something with him. Exactly. I was with this man for a year. I had this fucking woman, a human man. Of course it was going to affect me in some way. But I tried to just murder it. I was like, I wasn't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, I was lying to you. So, I don't trust anything. Like, <laughs> you know, but that's my, I'm going to like that instinct. I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like her personality and everything. And I just, I don't know how many people do with her. I think she's that shit. But at the same time, it doesn't mean nothing happened. I don't know. I don't care anymore. Well, I mean, I say I don't care is obviously not true, but I can't care. You know what I mean? Danielle G. Bella. Only you and that are. No, I don't even know the truth. I don't care. So only he and her know the truth. Don't pull me into this. I was at my fucking house or wherever I was, not even knowing that this happened until months down the line. So for people to want to blame me, I don't care, go ahead. I don't even fucking bother me. Six cases? Where's the six cases? Where's the six cases? Matt and Mamie have had her own relationship. Well, that's why I slept on him and he doesn't fucking realize that. You're, so, you're telling me you love me, you're fucking leaving me on and leaving me, and at the same time, you're gaslighting me, lying to me, and then fucking telling me that... Like, behind the scenes, you're talking with all these fucking gross women from your fucking harem? 
and making plans to fuck them like Jennifer Corvina? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm keeping that fucking TV off. She's gonna cross the I'm doing that. Give me a break. All this bitch drama. You know how unattractive that is? Fucking. Did you see anybody with cars and beauty like TV? You want company time again, but you want to sue me and blame me for your job. You want company time. You're using like slippers to fucking slither your way into the living room. Another Jennifer Corvina and baby. You're pathetic, both of you. Go back on the Ferris wheel, fuck. I don't even know. I didn't say six, Diamond. And those are accusations. Yeah. And the way she, like, her story didn't sound like. I, for the whole year I've known him, have not known him to be sexually aggressive like that. Like, to me, and this happened with another guy, too. Um, it happened with a few guys. Where they just, like, they think you're being playful or, like, oh, you want to do this, just try it, just try it, blah, blah, blah. They're pushing. But to them, they don't, they, they don't think anything of it. But to us, it affects us. You know what I mean by that? And I'm not saying it's okay. But, like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like, like I don't know. But for me, I was like, isn't it, isn't it, isn't it? And I'm just like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like a lot of times sexual partners are pushy and they don't realize they're like, like, and yeah, they need to be he told that, but you know. No, he's never like, okay, so what's the face said, the person in this case said that he, the minute he got in the hotel, he shoved her on the bed, give me your kitty. Number one, like, I've never known him to do that. Like, he never just like, shoved me and like okay take it you know like no and not unless it was consensual in that way no um so that's just my experience you have to communicate yeah okay you. goodbye bucket. The way he talks to women, yeah. No, yeah, he's very nice. But I've never known him to be like an aggressive. Different narcissistic bulldogs awake. Oh, Beatrice, come on, Beatrice. So exactly, Jamie. That's what I was gonna get into. So now we do everything's just playful. It was just drunk playful, guys. I just, I just took it over the edge. It was drunk playful. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna get it together. Yeah, exactly, Catherine. Do you forget everything, Chantal? And you wonder why there's so many channels and you get so much static. Oh, I'm the only... I've never seen YouTubers... Static. Bad word. I've I've never seen, you know, so many... I, I, I'm the only YouTuber. Dude, do you know YouTubers to come on? Well, I'm sure there's some out there, but... Do you realize what serious accusations... You've said racist, derogatory comments... You did an apology, eating a bucket of fried chicken, your roommate, don't even get me started with beads. Your, yeah, we can try it without the speaker for a second. Look at Batris, the way she sits. Batris, you're a little lady. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a Batris. She's a bat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a Beatrice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, she's a Beatrice. She's like, I'm about to wake up. Yeah, we'll play. Um, You wonder why you get so much static other than over here. There's the list. I could go on and on. You've said transphobic, homophobic comments. You've lied about terrible things. S-A-B. 
you have drove high on substances. You, oh my god, she sees that chicken. I need to get that chicken out of here. Not the KFC, the chicken that Kelly got her. When I went to show Kelly the other day, oh my goodness, y'all. I gotta get this chicken and throw it away. Or tear the stuffing out something. Chantal, you, you, it, it's not your ravishing, wonderful personality. You, you, yeah, you, you allegedly got into a car wreck, arguing with Natter, digging for a lighter, and you're lucky the lady let you get away. None of this, none of this, you, you just think that it's, it, it's gotta be your own, it just must be your weight. Chantal, there's channels bigger than you that have made videos about you. I have a brand new pair of cute pajamas with sloths on them. But my chihuahua makes... I have a brand new pair of pajamas with you. But my chihuahua makes... It. Oh my gosh, Batris is a little bat. She's a Batris. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a Batris. Bat is a whole mood. Bat is... I'm like, what did I get? Yeah, Pet Smart. She said allegedly that they had got into an argument allegedly. Oh no, y'all, she wants this dag one thing. Um Oh, I don't know if Batris Batris has a dress. I need to wash it. Batris, we wear a dress, Batris. Said my mother got me a dress when I was little. Do you want a dress, Batris? I'll try to put it on her. Say, do you want a dress, Beatrice? Whoa, 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 she's a Beatrice. <laughs> she's something else, y'all. Um, okay. Um, allegedly that they were arguing and got into it, and he wanted a, la a lighter, and she was digging around in her purse, and she bumped somebody, and they ended up letting her go. And didn't call the federales. She's got a little dress. I need to wash it. See, she's a mattress. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's another thing left eye she was talking about. She still thinks that she got set up on Omegle. She still thinks that that somebody perfect timing. Um they that somebody set her up. Hold on, professional. We'll take a gander. Yeah, she she still thinks that, you know, somebody was slick enough that uh she was bamboozled. Hold on, y'all. She's a batress. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a batress. Boing. Batress. Dude. She really thinks. Um Man, Cheryl, I'm going to be honest with y'all. What if I had Batris now? Two months? I don't honestly know. See, she's a Batris. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh, have a seat, Mom. If you want, I'll, I'll put them on her. I'll put them on her. Yes, have a sumo. And, and that's if you want to ship them. Like I said, I know shipping's outrageous. But yeah. Yes, if you would like. And, and guys, like I said, shipping's expensive. So don't ever worry about me. But she will wear them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She will wear them. I love you, Chubat. I love you, Chubat. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's listen to another minute of this. Um, um, I say about a month and a half, two months I've had her. She is so cute. She is so bad, though. Let me tell you. This dog is unlike any dog I've ever had. So she's a mean dog. Yo, she wrestles. Say, so I'm a wrestler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a wrestler. Oh, man. I gotta get that chicken out of here, y'all. Okay, yes. Let's go ahead and see with the speaker off. It's plugged off, and 
Guys, I think we'll watch a little bit of this, and I'm going to turn it down for the night. I've got to calm this thing down. Oh, shipping is nuts. Shipping is nuts. Shipping is... Um, hold on, y'all. Yeah, y'all, she's unlike any dog I've ever... And I've had some dogs, and... Yo, she tries to body slam the other dogs, and... Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me get... Mattress, you stay put, little buddy. Oh, man, she's going for that chicken. Mattress, come on, sweet mattress. Sweet mattress. Oh, my goodness, y'all. She is like, I want that chicken. I see my toy. Hold on, Bat. You're going to fall. You're going to fall, Mattress. You're going to fall, Bat. Hold on. Oh, my goodness, yo. Wait, he's never done that to me, but... So... He's never done that to her, y'all. Remember that. Mattress, <laughs> you're a mattress. <laughs> so... He did do things that made me uncomfortable and, like... Really and didn't listen to him a lot, but... Um... Mattress, you can't have that chicken. You'll he didn't listen to feel, like... Stay bad. No, Mattress. I guess, I don't know. I was, I, I didn't feel like I really evaluated the situation what happened to Stay back. And I decided to go with it. It wasn't sexual assault for me because it just really it didn't wasn't feel like sexual assault. And bad like it stay. felt more just like Stay Batris. We were drunk Set. and just being like pushy and stupid, you know? So that's it. Bella. No, I haven't been talking to him. I'm not trying to downplay, but my actual controlling and violent hate now. I just want to try to be fair in this situation because I feel like when he watches me, he thinks I'm attacking him like with every time I talk about him. And I'm not, I'm just trying to be objective and like fair and keep my feelings about it. But at the same time, I'm not the type of person just because I'm on the out with you. He's like this because he'll be petty now. Like he'll be petty if he thinks I'm attacking him. I'm trying to make him see like my feelings are fucking valid. You hurt me. You didn't own any of it. And I cannot deal, you know? He pushed you up to the bedroom. But not in an aggressive way. He didn't push me up to the bedroom. He like when we caught up, he showed me his apartment and then whenever we like got up to the bedroom, he just like kind of like hugged me and like, oh I'm happy you're here. And like I fell back. I fell back because of how he had, you know what I mean? Like no, he didn't push me on the bed, take and sit from something and fucking start being all aggressive. Like it just doesn't make sense that like if you look at the conversation on Messenger, it was so platonic and so normal and cordial and Mattress, like what are you doing? So for him to act like that the minute she gets there, it doesn't make any sense to me. But that's just me. He cannot physically push you. That's why. You can't experience your can't compare your experience to hers. No, I know I'm not comparing it, but you are know, comparing it. You don't worship him anymore. He does. Okay, he cannot even get on the bed. I don't picture. Like why would you take a picture of me kissing your feet then? She's like, oh I want to prove it. Like, every time I would go crawling back, he would humiliate me and make me feel like shit, basically, for leaving him. Or for going against him. Kiss my feet, then. You kept... Why would I put myself through that for nothing? You kept driving back, dude. I'm so sick of hearing the same old shit over and over. You kept... Hold on, Mattress, can I sit with you? You kept driving back there. He did not have a vehicle. He still does not have a vehicle. You kept driving yourself back there. Y you're not making sense, dude. You, like, I cannot deal. Chantal, you are scary to me. You need to let this go. Because it's getting rolled... And it, it's not doing you any favors. It really isn't. You are... You said you made him, allegedly... Excuse me. A cheapest care package. He ignored you. What, what don't you get? He has moved on. I don't know, but it seems like from what we've seen... This would have been the perfect chance for them to hang out. And he didn't take the bait. So I don't know if he's finally woke up and thought, okay, if I deal with this one, this one's going to end up, I'm going to end up in jail for real. Now, who only knows? I could say that. They'll be together tomorrow. You know we don't ever know. 
But this would have been the perfect thing. Exactly, Amanda Dawn. You're, you're, you're not, it, it, it's desperate, to put it nicely, to put it very nicely, you're desperate. It's old, it's played out, if, in my opinion, and like I said, who knows, I'll say this, and tomorrow they'll be trucking around together, who knows, but you'd think you would have took the Chivas bait. I, in my opinion, think that she got this room in Montreal hoping. I seen the one have a sue about the PJs. Was there another one? Sorry. My Lukey doesn't know how to play with toys, so I have some do Oh, thank you. Nice have a sue. Sorry, I was trying to get everybody situated. She seen that chicken that she had ripped up from Kelly and I had to go put it in the other room. Thank you, Havasu. No, that would be great. They love toys. So, and like I said, but guys, don't put yourself out. I know shipping is amazing. Thank you, Havasu, Mom. I Paul. I had to go put that daggone chicken in the other room because she was like, <laughs> and she wasn't going to, I put it up there. Then she's like, so yeah. So guys, if you want to send things, awesome. Don't ever put yourself out. Like I said, I know the shipping is outrageous, but yes, totally would appreciate. Yeah, she was like, so I put it up there and then she's like, and I was like, I got to get this out of here. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to turn it in for the night. Um, if you get bored, I'm sure somebody, this thing is three hours, 26 minutes and eight seconds. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I I think. Oh, um, sorry, Arn, my bad. Nice, Shaquina. Nice. Um, I think, yes, Justice, I'll give you a heads up, too, like maybe an hour ahead. Like, hey, leave in with Grandma, may, you know, then I can come up with the time. Um, I think, and again, these are only my opinions in my chats. I think she went to Ma to Montreal to kind of, you know, look what I got. Look at this room I got. I got a good room this time. Um, I, I don't, I mean, we haven't went to any museums. Wasn't this for, oh, we're going to go to museums and we're going to do this. And it, we haven't done, I, I think that there was... I, maybe she was hoping that he went on a, r a ride to court or something. I do think, in my opinion, or well, how she said it. She said she had brought the weed care package, remember? And she said it one. Somebody said, did you think? And she said, well, maybe I thought about, you know, if he wanted to hang out. It, it did cross my mind. So, how she said it. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to think. But I do think that shit's gonna hit the fan if if he's done talking to her I, hell i think on both ends in my opinion if court really is back to uh yeah Catherine, she has a museum pass for montreal and like the planetariums biodomes and that's what some of the things she was but but yesterday they closed they closed so she she couldn't make it in time um I do think that shit's about to hit the fan in many directions. And again, I do not wish bad upon anybody. You guys know that and the replay. But I think that we've been pretty stagnant as far as things going. If the plea was yesterday, allegedly, you know, with him pleading guilty or not. And, you know, if he's really done with her. Um, I, think, I think shit's about to hit the fan. In all directions. Um, if she really does have this loan. You know. They're going to come to collect. I think shit's just. I, I don't know again. I said this the other day. I said that you know. I, I feel like. Um, so do I Amanda Dawn. So do I. Oh yeah he'll get another court date. He, this polybug allegedly. Um, and I gotta be careful, you guys know that, but allegedly yesterday was like when you go and plead like, yes, I plead guilty, no contest, no, I, and again, I'm in the States. 
So I don't even know if you can plead no contest over there. But um, yesterday was like, do you want to plead guilty or not guilty? So yeah, it's game on. This the the ball's about to get rolling. The ball's about to get rolling. What do you want, pussy cat? Yeah, the ball's about to get rolling. So I do think that, you know, some. Uh, well, obviously he's got you know the court case going. She's got allegedly this other guy on the back burner, and I do think that shit's. She's probably about to turn up. If he's really done with her, she's about to go all out. Sarah, welcome, love. She's about to be this I'm wanted by everybody sex tiger-esque. I think we'll have... I think we're going to have a mirror of last summer where she's going to go into party mode. You've seen she's been wanting to drink and smoking like a banshee and edibles. I think she's... Bella's like, hello, time to play, Dingle. Um, But I think that... um. What did Satan undo? Guys, code words. Be careful, guys. Go, Saint. Easy, baby. Easy. We gotta be careful, guys. Code words. No violence. No. You know I love you, Saint. But listen, guys. No violence in the chat. We've got a lot to do over here. We got some giveaways coming up. <laughs> and I do think that the bots go through. Thank you, Sarcastic. I got it, Saint. You're good. It just, guys, you have to think. What we may joke about is not, you know, she can run around and do everything, but what we may joke about, and that's why I even say over here, allegedly, I know that shit's old. You're good saying, I know you were just playing. Um, that's why I say allegedly all the time. I don't need anybody to come back and sue me or, and I know it's a long shot, but I would rather just cover my tail. You know, so I do think that even when we're good, the bots go through and they'll see code words and substances. And, and I know it sounds silly. I know some of you guys probably don't believe me. But I've showed on the community tab the yellow money signs. I, I know that, you know, she can run around naked, show her lady bits. And I know it sounds silly, but you hear my belly. But I just try to be careful. Because we already don't make a lot. What I make is pretty much off of the love of you guys. And, you know, so... I know, not again. And sometimes, you know, it's just... If if they've already gotten so many views... You know, I, I know my pretty much average views. If they've already met their views... It's like, why even hit them up for a review if everybody's already watched them? Do you know what I mean? I, I get what you guys are saying, but if they're already... I average in between 2,000... You know, to 4,000 views. So if they're already at like 4,326, it's like they've already due diligence. Everybody's watched them. But, um, so, but I just like to keep it smooth anyways. You know, we, you, you never know what kind of mood somebody's in. You catch my drift. So that way, you know, nobody can say they're over there doing this, that, and the other. That's another thing. You know, it, it, it watches, it, it, it keeps an eye for YouTube, and it keeps an eye for anybody that tries to come at us. Do you know what I mean? It, it That way nobody can read the chat and say, well, they're over there, da, 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 you know what I mean? Or they're over there talking about, it, it just kind of keeps things just, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot uh, bear with the whole situation. Guys, check out Sarah Locklear. Uh, absolutely funny. Um, we need to get... I've got a couple dirty brushes. So, guys, check out um, Sarah. Absolute hilarious. Calls it again as she sees it like I do. Good times always. Uh, talk kind of like I do. Makeup, odds and ends. What's going on in the community. Trinkets, makeup, brushes. Whatever the case may be, we just talk shit. So, I love you guys. This bat is uh, looking like she's sleepy, but don't let her fool y'all. Don't let her fool y'all. Say, I'm about to turn up, baby. Turn up, mattress. Oh, mattress. Look at that.
<laughs> She's like, psych! Wait till you get off here. If you gotta go to the bathroom, I'm about to grab anything I can and tear it up. Oh, Mooney, I thought that the other night. When I got up here, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to just relax, eat my little food. She's like, pew, 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 So, I love you guys. Like I said, I know that shit's annoying, you know, having to censor the shit out of us. It's old to me, too. But, A, we don't need nobody trying to sue us. B, we like to keep a certain standard over here. Nobody can go through. And if somebody would strike us, I can say, look, we're clean and slate over here. More than welcome to go through the chat. More than welcome to go through our channel. We're covering A, we're covering B, and I've already had enough static throughout the get-go of getting us to this point. So, I want to make it to where if I have to fight something, we've got nothing for anybody to nitpick. Well, hello, sweet pussycat. It just literally, you know... Y'all seen, I had Case Corner that I tried to promote strike us. Amy struck us. I mean, it's like, then we can just smooth sailing. I can fill out the little papers and... I know, lovely. And I, and I don't want to censor you guys more than ever. That's kind of why I just put out the, you know, bat signal that code words, I don't mind. That's It's kind of good, too. We have our own little lingo. That way, if anybody is lurking, watching... We can, you know, still talk the way we talk, but we just, you know, they don't understand our lingo. You feel me? Huh? Say the bat signal. You are the cutest damn thing, but you are something else. Look at this daggone thing. You are the sweetest little bad thing I've ever seen. Yes, you are. Look how big her paws are, y'all. Look at her little feet. I'm sorry, I think you like Look at her little peats. See, she has little peats. Oh my god, Sarah, she is so sweet, but man, she's... Y'all get ready. When her channel jumps off, you'll see her in action. Yeah, and that's a thing, like I said, you know, people are like, Oh, Kaya's annoying with those words. Well, you know what? Then start a channel and see. See when you keep getting red or yellow or nothing or privacy complaint or... I, like I told y'all, there for a minute, I, it was like last, not this past fall, but the fall before that. I just had people coming at me left and right. I didn't even sometimes get on here and say it because I didn't want to bring more attention to it. But it was just like... So... All right, y'all. Well, I love you guys. I hate to go, but, uh, oh my goodness, look at this. Say she's a bat. Whoa, 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 she's a batress. See, this is where the other night I got played. I was like, ooh, I'll take her in there. I'll lay her down. She's sure to go to sleep. She's about to go to sleep. No, ma'am. I went down to check the laundry. She's like, scratching at the basement door oh my gosh little Aussie man mouse get bad yeah I know I can block certain words um I just like I I feel like you know I don't really have to say it too much often I feel like if we just get in the knack of just kind of being respectful it'll just you know you know what I mean I, I, I don't want to censor you guys and then have to retype stuff and you gotta... Ariana, I hope. Let's say I hope, pussycat. But yeah, I don't want to censor you guys, you know, then you gotta retype stuff and am I blocked and that's gonna... Why'd you do that and why'd you... And then we're gonna take time explaining what words are blocked. I just feel like if I threw that signal out every once in a while... Everybody pretty much gets the point. If you wouldn't type it on your channel, and if you think, should I be typing this? Probably shouldn't type it. And that's why it, when I'm in other people's words, I use the money sign for S if I'm shit. I use the O, the, the zero as an O. You guys see, I get, I, I get, I get a, no, I know, say, I get, I get a little, you know, the, the zero is great for an O, the money sign is great for an S. 
you can use the little slash symbols to kind of block you know just just be creative with it you know and, and i don't like to censor you guys it sucks it, it really sucks when you see somebody getting on here and literally showing it all and i'm over here like somebody's you know the librarian don't say that you know it, it sucks it does and, and like i said i've showed the community tab before I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but, you know, people are like, really, Kaya? And I'm like, here, I'll show you. I made it to where you could just see, and Jamie, welcome. Jamie, you're going to have to watch the replay, love. We are about to shut her down. All right, y'all. So, for the replay, and you guys, I know the static is absolutely horrendous, and we are the underdogs already. So, I'll troubleshoot with Justice. We'll kind of, even if we got to do a stream, I'll call it, like, testing or something. And, um, we'll, we'll troubleshoot. We'll see, maybe, you know, we'll figure it out. I can maybe, the Yeti might turn off, I don't know. You know, I'm not tech savvy, so we'll, we'll figure it out because that is unacceptable. It really, it's, it, I, it's unacceptable. Sorry, Harley. Yeah, exactly, I made it done. I'm, I'm in a bathing suit and I'm literally, like, having to, but yet she's showing her whole cootie out. Her old cooter bug. Sorry, Haley. Um. I gotta burp, y'all. Oh, sorry. Yes. Gypsy is... There are actually gypsies. Yes, guys. Do not use that as a slur. We have some real gypsies in our community. So, I just want to make that clear. I know, you know. But, we do have... Actual gypsies brought up, live the gypsy life, so yes. So, just think, you know, you guys get it. I don't want to sound... Um, so, I love you guys. Be kind to each other, be nice to each other, and we learn from each other. I want to put that as a message, too. Maybe somebody will say something they don't, you know, didn't think of it or didn't mean it that way. Again, I'm not covering up for anybody right now, but just know that we learn each other. Know that I get a cramp always at the right time, but know that we learn each other. We learn off of each other. We learn from each other. Some of us were brought, and I'm not making excuses. I want to make that clear, but I've learned a lot being on here. We learn from each other. We learn different things. We learn different communities. We learn different cultures. So just, you know, talk to each other. There's no need to get, you know, no, you should have never did that. Or do you know what I mean? I've learned a lot being on here. There's things that I used to say back in the day that I just, that's how I was raised. And that's, you know, exactly Curly. And that was exactly what came to my mind. So, um, it, it, and it's no excuse, but I'm just saying some of us were brought up not knowing any better. And I'm not saying, you know, this particular, I'm saying in general, there's a lot I've learned off you guys, and I'm sure there's learn lots to learn, and I'm sure we'll all together make mistakes along the way. But we help each other, we can we can work things out, we can tell each other without harassing, or, you know, like I said, I'm not picking this actual, I'm just saying in general. We can teach each other, some of us, I grew up in a small rural town, some of the things that y'all tell me that are slurs that... That shit that we said in school and things like that. So, I learn off you. We can teach each other, learn together, and try and, you know, be and do the right thing and be better people. Do you know what I mean? So, on that note, be kind to each other, be nice to each other, and Lord have mercy, please try to learn for your learn from the things we watch. Because, honey, it makes me want to be a better person. Let me tell y'all. I love you guys. Good night. Please, whatever you believe in, pray that Mattress is really going to go to sleep. And um, pray I can get about another 30, 40 minutes. Kind of just a peace of mind right quick. And maybe eat another White Castle or two. I love you guys. If you're coming in, there's plenty to watch. Kind of a weird night. Um, not really much to get into, but I really wanted to cover the basics of what her hypocrisy was and that we do not care what you do and i don't think you care what you do 
Yeah, I have a sue, Mom. Me too. I grew up in a small rural town, and some of the things that, you know, other children said that I said that, you know, people, you know what I mean. And like I said, I'm going to make mistakes. You guys are going to make mistakes, and we can learn from each other, and we can respectfully say, you know, hey, I was brought up this way. Please don't say that, or you're offending me. There's no need to, you know, be mean about it. There's no need to, you know, disrespect anybody. And like I said, I'm sure I'm going to screw up. You guys will help me along the way and we'll help each other. So, I don't know what to say. I think it's going to be a weird week. I do. Oh, let's open a fortune and get rid of some of these stealth fortune cookies. We're getting, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, Batrus. Come here, Batrus. Oh, here. All set crooked. You, you take the seat, ma'am. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of some of these stealth fortune cookies. Got one over here. Oh Jesus, no. Did you hear that? Somebody's awake at the pea pod. No Batras. Sugar bear just br no Batras. Batras is food aggressive, and I'm really working on that. She's very food aggressive. <laughs> She's food aggressive. No, Batras. Oh, my goodness. She's very... I'm really working on that. You welcome. Hey, stop that. Ooh, this is an interesting one, y'all. Be careful. Straight trees often have crooked roots. Be careful. Straight trees often have crooked roots. I think that goes pretty good for tonight. Be careful. Straight trees often have crooked roots. Numbers 11, 2, 34, 7, 48, and 19. 11, 2, 34, 7, 47, and 19. Be careful. Straight trees often have crooked roots. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I think that... What do you guys gather from that? Tell me right quick before... Um, the mattress. Oh. <laughs> I think she's... I get, this is what I get. I'll tell y'all and tell me what you guys think. Be careful. Straight trees often have crooked roots. Exactly, Truth. That's kind of where I was going. Truth says, could look good but be rotten on the inside. Am as well. Not everything seems what it means. Um... I kind of take it as not everything seems as, looks as good as it could be, possibly. Um, yes, KK's Corner said, crooked roots got a better grip than straight roots. There's many ways. Um, but I think, truth, that's kind of the way I take it. What can be seen with the eye can fool you from what is hidden and beneath. Our girl as well, pretenders. So something looks to be, oh, that's a beautiful straight tree. And the base of it might not be sturdy. And you know what I mean? I, You guys took it exactly kind of how I gathered it. Be careful. Straight trees often have crooked roots. So somebody that looks, you know, let's just use this for an example. Somebody that, you know, may have a briefcase. And they may, you may say, oh, he works on Wall Street. And he could be your neighborhood. He could be laundering money. You know what I mean? Like, don't kind of judge a book by its cover type deal. Kind of the way I take it. Yes, that too. People of a certain way in society but come from a background or may have secrets may be bad. Same thing. Stay ground. Yeah, there's plenty. Exactly. Polybug too. Perfect things. Look, usually something's hidden. I, yeah, uh, I, I think this pertains with tonight. I think that, you know, she's calling everybody a hypocrite and 
I'm better than you and I'm getting my life together and we know that it's a complete facade. It's a complete, I think that she is pissed right now that he's not taking the bait, did not take the bait, did not take the care package, um, is not falling for her shenanigans of bougie old me, which we know that Chantal is far from bougie, far from classy in our opinions, and she's putting on this facade on. So I do think it goes with tonight. I really do. So I love you guys. Thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Oh, excuse me. Subscribe, yes. The Kardashians look beautiful, but secretly miserable. Money doesn't buy you everything. Um, do you guys catch my drift? I, I, I think it exactly what looks straight could be crooked. Fantastic. I agree. So, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being here on the replay. Make sure you're subscribed. Guys, check out all channels, small channels, far and in between. And I love you guys. Um, me and Justice will troubleshoot tomorrow. We'll kind of work with what equipment I got, see what's working. So, if we do do a test stream, just heads up. It'll be a couple minutes. Yes, all the glitters isn't gold. Fantastic uh, thought of it, Jamie. So, if we do do a test stream, we'll kind of work with what equipment, kind of troubleshoot, play, see if you guys the sound, etc. And then we'll get back to business. So, I love you guys. Have a great day, great night, and Kaya and... Patris is out. Say goodnight, Patris. Good night, Patris. Say goodnight, Patris.